at Sunny106.fm. Rockway Rover Football 2019 is sponsored locally by friends of Senator Joe Scarnati, Yard Works of Rockway, Clyde Ferrero and Company, Hugh Water Services and Holt Grilling, the Swift Kennedy Insurance Group, and McDonald's of Rockway with participation from Ferrero, Crook and Ferrero, Creekside Auto and Tire, more propane, B&T Fleet Supply, Joe's Tuck Shop, DeLillo Transport, Glass Town Pizzeria, and Verachetti Holdings. Hungry for more Brockway Rover football? Check out our live video stream at sunny106.fm. Brought to you by Stars Trailer Sales of Brockway and Rogus Auto Sales. And now we go live to the field for Brockway Rover football, streaming live at sunny106.fm. And live on today's Sunny 106, your home for Brockway Rover football. Welcome to Paul Miller Stadium here at the Kane Area High School as uh, our Brockway Rovers are trying to get on the uh, in the winning side here. Um, I'll be your uh, one of your co-hosts here tonight, Lanny Prosper, filling in for Bill Edwards. Uh, Bill's uh, out with a minor procedure. I'm sure he's probably going to be listening and critiquing us as we go on through the night. But uh, sitting to my left and going to do all the color stuff for us tonight is Max. What do you think, buddy? Uh, I'm pretty excited. First time I'm actually at this football field, so kind of cool to see how this game's going to turn out for us tonight. Well, Bill, he found it. Max Renya's here in the house. <laughs> he found the, found the building. He's good to go. And uh, and I'm, unfortunately, I was able to get everything connected properly, so we mm. should be we should be all right. But uh, it's uh, looking like a good football night up here in Kane, and uh, we're getting everything set. The guys are just coming off the field from the warm-ups and everything. So uh, we'll take a short break, and then we'll come back with you with some of the game stuff here as you're listening to uh, Brockway Rover football on Sunny 106. Julie Coyle, owners of McDonald's of Brockway, are ready for another exciting season of Brockway Rover football. They know the importance of teamwork and dedication, and they proudly support the Brockway Rovers. So stop by before or after the game to fill up. They're ready to serve you. McDonald's Route 219 Brockway, working hard to bring you quick service and quality meals with a smile. Let's go Rovers! You flip the switch, lights come on. Turn on the tap, water comes out. You don't even think about it. Always there working dependably in the background. Swift Kennedy and Company is just like that. Eight licensed agents evaluate your needs and your risk while serving your commercial property and casualty insurance coverages. They shop over 15 carriers to make sure your coverage is right for you. Swift Kennedy's agents use a systematic approach to provide your business broad coverage and peace of mind. Call Swift Kennedy and Company and see what their 100 years of experience could do for your business. Then you can stop thinking about it and let them do the work. Swift Kennedy and Company, Dubois, Swift Kennedy, and CO.com. Who knows everything about water? From well drilling to water delivery to home or office, pool and spa chemicals and water pumps and water treatment, Hugh Water Service. That's us. With 30 years of water experience, Hugh Water Services provides Western Pennsylvania with one convenient source for clean and clear water. Superior installations at competitive prices, including sales, service, and rentals for pumps, tanks, and water supply systems and sprinklers. That's us. Well drilling, including water wells, geothermal wells, well cleaning, and if you you need bottled water delivery, Gatorade and coffee to your office, we do that too, with free delivery. Ask for details. We even offer excavating services. Huh, you water services even does that? That's full service. That's us. If you think we're just another water company, you're all wet. Family owned and operated since 1988. On Route 219, just south of Brockway, or visit them on the web at youwaterservices.com. That's us. Why work in your yard when you can enjoy it? Thanks to YardWorks. Here's James Burkholder. We uh, do a, a virtual walkthrough with the customer. That way they can see live and live in color what uh, what this product's actually going to look like installed at their house. So we, we go the extra mile for our customers, and they can have a virtual walkthrough and, and visit the, the project and, and see exactly what it's going to look like and go from there. Weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly maintenance available. Call 594-6421 today and YardWorksCO.com. The home of Brockway Rovers football is Sunny 106. Back to Paul Miller Stadium, Landy Prosper, Max Renya with you. We're going to bring you some Rover action here tonight against a Kane. And uh, just looking at some of the things from, from last season, last season's matchup, uh, Dubois, or I'm sorry, Brockway winners last year, what, 28 to 6? Is that what you have, Max? Yep, 28 to 6 last year. So a big difference in the, in the lineup, so of course, is uh, I think Kane was the young team last year. Brockway had uh, 
right around that 17 senior mark, and then a lot of those guys and gone. Left, yeah, it's a, that's what seems to be hurting the team this year is uh, those 17 seniors leaving and uh, a lot of sophomores on the team. So it seems to me like this season's more of just a learning curve for most of these kids that's on the team. And down the road, that should really help them out as far as getting that playing time, that experience, the big gap between being a, a sophomore and being a senior even in high school, the uh, the maturity, the, the just the size of the kid. And uh, I think that, that plays a big difference in some of these games as trying trying to last out that the entire game against some of these bigger lineups. Yeah, that's definitely true. But I have to say, some of, some of these kids that we have that are young, they're big-sized kids. Like, uh, uh, Ethan Ward, I think he's a – freshman he's a freshman or sophomore one of those two but he's a big kid he's weighing about 300 pounds so some of our offensive linemen you know they keep growing keep hitting the weight room we'll have some pretty good at least uh, interior linemen that we can use for the next couple of years oh no doubt about it and it, i think what comes with it too is just not only being big is being able to use that strength and uh, having that attitude and that confidence when you line up against the guy across the, the way that's uh you know been established, got himself going, made some big hits, made some plays. And uh, those younger kids, that, that, that mentality is tough to get that wrapped around your head that I can go out and I can beat this guy one-on-one -on -one every play. Yeah, and that's definitely true. And I, I think that might be like the the theme so far early in the season because uh, some people at home don't know the Rovers are 0-3 this year. They lost a tough one last week to St. Mary's, 49-22. The week before that, I was at that game. Uh, it was a tough one with Brookville. And – Brookville ended up winning in that first game against Carn City, but with Kane, it's the opposite. They're three and zero. They're looking to keep another victory here, uh, revenge for last year. So I think the key to us is just trying to play a bit good overall game for for Brockway. And I think you look historically, Kane's always been one of those better football programs, a powerhouse. It seems like they just reload more often than having to any kind of rebuilding time. Uh, for th this area, it seems to be just a football area. They always come in with big, strong kids. And uh, even looking at their quarterback tonight, I mean, he's he's young, but he's uh, he's six foot four. He's athletic. He's a lefty, so it, it's that poses a little bit of a different challenge, I think, for the guys. Yeah, that's definitely true. And that seems like Brockway each week so far has faced a quarterback like, that's like that. Carn City, you know, you didn't see his their running back pass too much, but he ran. Same thing with Brookville. Uh, St. Mary's, I was at the game last week. I didn't pay attention too much to their quarterback, but their running game is very potent. Kane has the same kind of thing. They're averaging about 161 yards a game on the ground. And I know uh, with the Rover defense, that seems to be kind of their Achilles heel this year. Well, we'll head back to the station there, and then we'll come back with the Rogus Auto Sales keys to the game. Again, you're listening to Brockway Rover Football here on Sunny 106. This is Joe Scarnati. Rover football is back. As your state senator, I am proud to be affiliated with such a great program, consistently putting a team on the field that brings pride to our town, Rockway High School, and to the fans who continue to lend their support. To each participant, whether they be cheerleaders, players, statisticians, managers, or coaches, I wish you continued success and the best of luck at all your games. I will certainly follow every game with the anticipation of another Rover victory. So, where are we going? Brockway. Why are we driving all the way to Brockway? Because it's worth it. Worth it? We're going to Glastown Pizza. Their food is that good. Mamma mia, their Italian specialties are amazing. Plus, their flatbreads, hoagies, specialty burgers, and seafood are out of this world. You know I love mushrooms. Yup. Well, Glastown cuts them up fresh, not canned. Makes my sandwich so much better. Got their menu up on my phone? GlastownPizzaPA.com. It is worth a drive. Let's go. Glastown Pizzeria, 5th Avenue, downtown Brockway. Love at first bite. Community service and school involvement. Time given to make where we live and learn a better place. The attorneys at Ferrero, Crook, and Ferrero are longtime members of the Brockway community and sincerely appreciate the many people who give of themselves to make Brockway the community it is. They're also big supporters of Brockway football, recognizing the hours of dedication and hard work by the coaches, players, cheerleaders, and the band. People dedicated to community and school spirit bringing us all together. Thank you and good luck, Rovers, from Ferrero, Crook, and Ferrero. A Attorneys at Law, Brockway, your hometown law firm. The home of Brockway Rovers football is Sunny 106. Welcome back again here, uh, Paul Miller Stadium, Kane Area High School, where our Rovers are looking for their first uh, win of the year. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna get to the uh, Rogus Auto Sales keys of the game 
Find your new set of keys at Rogus Auto Sales. Check out the best selection of quality pre-owned vehicles in the area at Rogus Auto Sales in Brockway and at rogusauto.com. Rogus, Rogus, I've heard the commercials. Say it any way you want. Just stop <laughs> down and visit them. But uh, what do you think, Max? What do we got to do tonight? So I think the big thing for Brockway is stopping that run. It seems like every game that I've watched, the uh, running attack has been the big thing with them. And what comes along with that is tackling. Uh, with Brookville, they did a really good job getting their body uh, to players, but uh, at the game last week at St. Mary's, I saw a, a lot of arm tackling and a lot of missed tackles from that, and I think that's just one of the big things that just keeps happening through the year. That th that's just something they'll have to do on a consistent basis at the end to be able to stop this Kane offense, but I still also think it comes down to also uh, on the offense, limiting turnovers. A uh, big thing there is interceptions. Uh, no offense to Connor Ford, but sometimes when he gets under just duress, he should, I think he should throw that ball away instead of throwing it downfield because that seems where the majority of his interceptions have come from. So if they can limit those type of things today, I think they have a decent chance of pulling, uh, I'd say, an upset over Kane today. Yeah, I mean, that's it, definitely. I mean, when you look at, you look at what, uh, what Kane's done to this part, I mean, they're averaging th just over 300 yards a game very balanced 161 yards rushing 142 yards passing and the key to them obviously looks like it's uh, Zook Smith he comes in here with already eight touchdown passes on the year with just three interceptions so it looks like he's taking care of the ball pretty well and they're airing it out quite often he's already uh, he's thrown 44 passes so far in, in two games so that's that's up there for a high school level and uh, again they're gonna probably just they're gonna come right at it run pass they're gonna do a little bit of everything yeah, I'm pretty sure they saw him from the video, the, the weaknesses in the Brockway defense. So they'll probably use hi him as a uh, try to make that uh, something that he can do to pressure the Brockway defense and score as many points as they can tonight. Yeah, definitely. Now, uh, as far as getting into our starting lineups, we don't have everything complete, but we have a pretty good idea who's starting. And the starting lineup with Brockway is uh, with Brockway Floral Boutique. Uh, they're the sponsors here of our lineups. And uh, just was discussing some of the folks here with from Kane and uh, with Max being at, at the Brockway game so far, uh, who the, who are the Rovers are going to lead the way tonight, Max? Okay, the the usual lineup that we got, we got uh, Ben Glassel, number two, playing for us, starting uh, number thirteen, Austin Schmader, our quarterback tonight, uh, number sixteen, Connor Ford, Braden Smith, number twenty three, he's one of our wide receivers. Number 31, Jonathan Wood, he's, one, uh, I'd say, our star running back for the year. Definitely. Uh, Nick Porin, number 43, he's one of our running backs that's been doing a good job. And I uh, always want to give credit to our offensive line. We have Gavin Thompson, Cameron Faust, Ethan Ward, Owen Johnson, Isaac Painter finishing off for our lineup. So some of those kids play offense and defense. Yeah, got to get those big guys out there. They don't get a whole lot of love sometimes. <laughs> so we got to tr try to squeeze their names in there as much as we can. And, and looking at this Kane roster and just seeing statistically what they've done, you know, you're going to be hearing guys like the name of uh, Caleb Holt, uh, Jake Alcorn, Teddy Race on offense and defense. Of course, Zook Smith, who we talked about at quarterback. Um, their running back, number 33, uh, Bobby Rumsick, he looks like a real solid athletic kid out there on the field. Uh, Chris Stewart, Jake Costanzo on the, on the line, uh, Reese Novacell, another lineman, and, uh, and uh, Kevin Sharba, uh, another good size 6-4 tight end defensive end so he can do things on both sides of the ball so that's what's coming at at Brockway and I'm sure the coaches have prepared for that and they know who their players are yeah I think uh, this might be the big problem for Brockway is uh seems like Kane has a good mixture of uh, big guys and speedy guys so uh, look at Kane trying to do that use that to the best of their ability to take advantage of Brockway tonight and then looking at those lineups, and is, you know, start any occasion of any size, manner, or day off right with a lineup of arrangements and flowers. Visit Brockway Floral Boutique and shop on Facebook, or just give them a call. Again, Brockway Floral Boutique. So this time we're going to go ahead and take a station break, and then uh, we'll be right back with you here as you're listening to Brockway Rover Football on Sunny 106. Creekside Auto and Tire Service earn trust servicing cars in the Brockway area. Now they ask you to turn to them when you're ready to buy your next used car. John and Chris service every used car on their lot so you know you're getting a great deal on a dependable car. Along with Lisa, they all treat you like family. As a family member, tell them what you're looking for in a used car and you'll get a family fair price on a great dependable used vehicle. Check their selection. If you don't see what you're looking for, they can try to find it for you. Buy your next used car from Creekside Auto and Tire and Brockway. 
On the playing field, it's a battle, but the things the Brockway Rovers know are excellence, teamwork, and responsibility. The folks at Phoenix Centered Metals knows about those, too, and are proud to sponsor Brockway Rovers football. Phoenix Centered Metals is a Verachetti family-owned powdered metals manufacturer committed to being an industry leader through excellence, innovation, and continuous improvement. Phoenix emphasizes employee teamwork and responsibility to the community. Hard work and perseverance do pay off. Go Brockway Rovers. For Propane in Falls Creek, your locally owned family operated propane supplier is proud to sponsor this Brockway football game. More Propane knows how important teamwork is both on and off the field. The More Propane team works together every day to deliver propane to heat your home, power your business, or fuel your farm. Teamwork is involved to make this happen safely, reliably, and most importantly, affordable for you. When it comes to propane, think more, save more. More Propane, Falls Creek, 299-7073. The home of Brockway Rovers football is Sunny 106. Welcome back to Paul Miller Stadium here at Kane Area High School. Lanny Prosper, Max Renya bringing you Brockway Rover football. Is uh, we're hoping to get a get our first W of the year. I'm hoping maybe to bring these guys a little bit of a little bit of luck. But uh, right now, I do want to do uh, our weather feed. We got to let you guys know how everything's going up here. So, and our weather feed is brought to you by Hepler's Country Store. So stop in and see everybody down at Hepler's Country Store. And uh, right now here around kickoff time, we're at 58 degrees. Uh, looks like we've got a little bit of breeze coming, breeze coming out of the south. Um, if I hadn't, if I had the map in front of me, I'd be pushing all that stuff that way, Max. Yep. So, but perfect football weather. I think so. Uh, this is actually the first night where it's actually a little bit cold off. And I actually enjoy that rather than it being a nice hot night. But uh, I think the kids will like that rather than have to sweat themselves out out there. Yeah, no doubt about it. We won't have to worry about those guys cramping up out there. But the field <laughs> field conditions look good. I mean, at least from our vantage point, I don't know. Uh, talking with the, one of the coaches, he said it is a little bit soft. So I don't know how that's going to play, whether that will be an advantage for our team or whether it will be an advantage for Kane. Uh, but if you're a speed game, you don't want that soft turf. But uh, these guys, the field looks good. They're just heading out right now to do the coin toss. Looks like Brockway has won that toss, and they're going to go ahead and receive the ball. That's always a good thing. I think uh, one thing that, it, at least in the first couple of games, when they receive first, they've at least been able to start some kind of tempo. So hopefully they can use that night to their advantage to get their confidence up to in this game. Oh, no doubt. I mean, it's, again, when you look at football, especially when you're on the losing end of things, you, you want to get back to simplifying things. Uh, tackling, taking care of the football, playing good defense, and ball control is always a huge part of it. And if you, the best way to kill a good offense is to, is to, don't let them out on the field. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, so uh, as we get ready for the uh, national anthem here, we're going to kick it back to the station, and we'll be back to you with some football action. Listening to Rockway River Football, Sunny 106. Kane Area High School as uh, the Kane Band is just finishing up a very nice rendition of our national anthem. And we're getting set to start this game off here. And remember, everybody, uh, check out, you know, you can get on there and check us out here live, actually watch the game live as uh, this, this uh, football game is being live streamed. So get on there, check it out. Is uh, we have the Rogus Auto Sales Star Trailer Sales video stream. So watch the game live online at Sunny 106 FM with our new live video stream courtesy of Star Trailer Sales and Rogus Auto Sales. 
And as always, we'll have our advanced disposal first downs and our Hugh Water timeouts. And stick with us after the game because we're going to have to decide, hopefully, some. We'll hopefully we'll have a tough decision, Max, on who the player of the game is going to be and what the play of the game is going to be. Yeah, hopefully there. It seems like at least the first couple of games has been kind of easy doing that, so I'm hoping to make a tough decision tonight compared to what we've had before. Yeah, that'd be great to have several several guys standing out that we gotta we got to bicker about a little bit up here. But And, of course, that uh, the player of the game will be brought to you by Inzana and Malulu. Uh, that will be the play of the game is, uh, will be brought to you by the uh, Inzana and Malulu. And then, of course, then we will have the player of the game, which is brought to you by johnsonauto.com. So, so, band played their alma mater, too. Yeah, it was a different rendition there. All, all the fans in the stands were stomping their feet. I don't know what that was about, but that's new. Yep. Something, something unique everywhere you go. Every high school, uh, high school stadium, high school crowds does things a little bit different. That's what makes football fun. Well, my first game, uh, they did the alma mater at Brockway, and Bill's like, oh, you should know that. And I was getting ready to sing it, and I'm like, oh, crap, I forgot the words to the song. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I can't, I can't do it now. I'm sorry. Well, Max, it would have been fun to hear you putting that voice right over oh, the air. Oh, definitely not, definitely not. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure everybody out there listening, especially Bill, would have loved it. <laughs> what, Bill today? Yeah. Definitely loved that. So. <laughs> So kickoffs was about to begin here with Kane kicking off. Uh, if you've you've used to, have you ever been at Kane Field? Uh, they're kicking from left to right, uh, looking back from the school. I'm trying to see the number for Kane. I think it's number one. I think that's Aaron Hotel that's uh, kicking off for the Kane Wolves to start this game. And we have Braden Smith and Jonathan Jonathan Wood back to return for the Brockway Rovers. And that's good options for Brockway either way as it goes. Yeah, both speedy guys, especially Braden Smith. He's been a, a tough kid to tackle down this year. And it's off, and it's going to go right down the middle. Looks like Wood's coming up. He's going to field it on a hop. And he's across the 15 to 20, cuts to, the, to his left across the 25. And he's going to be knocked out of bounds around the 27, so a nice return. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that, I, that's probably, the, probably the, their best return to start the year, it seems like. Most of the time they get stuck inside the 20, so it's nice that they get outside the 20 to 25 to actually start the game here. Yeah, nice. Like I said, that could have been, it was a kind of a shorter kick, so Wood had to feel it right on the on the hop. Did a nice job securing it, and uh, the guys did a good job blocking for him. So it looks like Wood's going to be the single back in the backfield as uh, Brockway's going to go from the shotgun right off the bat. As Connor Ford gets set. There's a snap. He's going to go ahead and hand it off as Wood goes around to the right. He's got a little bit of room. He crosses a 30-35, and he's close to a Brockway Rover first down. I'm going to have to wait and see what the officials say here. I haven't seen the, the chains move yet. They got the second down up, so it's going to be uh, second down and short. Yeah, very close there. That's a good That's a good first play to start the game. Jonathan Wood just goes on the, the outside, uh, is dragged down by his jersey by a Kane defender, but Good first, oh, good almost first down, I should yeah. say, not first down. Ford did a nice job on that uh, as they ran a little bit of an option, and here they, here they go again with the handoff going up the middle, and he's met immediately, but it looks like he's going to have enough. Yeah, I was going to mention that after you said about Ford doing a good job. It seems like uh, one of the best things I've seen from him is that read option, uh, especially when he takes it himself. He does a good job of keeping that ball to the last second rather than handing it off or keeping himself. He's been doing a good job this year with that. So that will be an advanced disposal first down as Brockway moves it up to the 37. So first and 10 from the 37, staying in the shotgun. Ford, with he has he has wood to his right. He takes a snap, ball's hand off. And actually, Ford keeps it this time, starts going around to the right. He may have got about a half a yard on the play. Yeah, Kane was e easily ate up that play. The, if he would have handed off to John Wood, that would have been a three-yard loss. But even with Ford keeping it, Kane was still on that play. No, they're they're definitely uh, they're definitely keying on Brockway number 31, and uh, as they should. Yeah, he's been a big part to our offense. So if that, if that's what they've been zoning in on throughout practice this past week, that's a smart idea on their part. So with second and a long nine, a snap to Ford. He's going to drop back and he's going to take off with the ball, and he is met after about a two-yard gain. It looked like there was more room there initially. Yeah, initially. And I, one thing I just noticed, and I'm wondering if they're going to do this throughout the game, it seems like, uh, I don't know if it's press coverage or anything, but it seems like there's a lot of kids in the box. Like within five yards of the ball, all 11 kids on the Kane defense is right there. 
And I don't think I've ever really seen that in a game that they've loaded up that much. They're going to challenge Brockway to throw over top of them, and it, it, it may be there. As their Brockway looks now at a third down and seven from their own 40. Again, going from the shotgun to get them a little bit more time. Ford gets set for the snap, sets back. He looks to throw, and the pass, ooh. ooh. That was a uh, pass coming across the middle. There's a flag there on the hit, though, too. That was uh, that was intended for Benjamin Glassell, and he took a heck of a shot. Yeah, that was number 33, Bobby Rumchick for Kane that hit him. Uh, I'm assuming the flag might be for targeting is my best guess. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't think the hit looked, I mean, the, the hit was solid, but I don't. I don't. I look like he went shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, I don't. It. I don't think it warranted a penalty at all. But no, I'm that, assuming the refs thought of something different there. Yeah, that that looked just like a like a hard football play. I mean, when you're coming across the middle, um, Glassell not a a big wide receiver. I mean, I give him credit. So yep. they did give the personal foul call. So Brockway is we're gonna have another advanced disposal first down via the penalty. That makes me a little sad because I always, well, I know maybe we shouldn't be doing that on the radio, but anytime there's a hit where you heard you heard us at home, we want oop, we both want ooh. Yeah. And that type of hit, I like that kind of stuff. So no. I'm, I'm hoping that penalty doesn't eliminate things like that in the game because a big hit plays are always a good thing for football, I think. So Rumsick, he is hit with the penalty. Uh, questionable, I'm sure the Kane fans definitely not liking <laughs> it, but now first and 10 in Kane territory at their 45 is uh, the ball's going to be handed off to Wood, and he is going to be stopped for no gain. So it'll be second down and 10 coming up. Yeah, that Kane defense is just coming up right through on those read options and doesn't really give Connor Ford much of an option on what to do because it seems like no matter what he does, it's still going to be, uh, they're going to get hit right, right in the backfield no matter what he does. So Brockway, initial, you know, a nice return, uh, real productive First down, initial first down, get another first down on a penalty in Kane territory here at their 45. So you want to take advantage of this, and, and uh, especially on the opening drive of the game. As Ford gets ready, takes the snap, he looks to pass, steps up in the pocket, throw just behind the receiver off his hands and incomplete. Ah, that's unfortunate. That would have been a huge play right there. Probably would have set up a third and second there. Uh, seemed like it was a little bit behind Smith there, but. Yeah, uh, Braden tried to get, he reached back just couldn't haul it in and honest uh, I mean had he pulled it in he might have been gone uh, as they are they're playing they're playing 10 men within five yards of the line of scrimmage right now yeah, everybody is at the line of, well, yeah well at least within five yards yeah. yeah so on third down and 10 here four drops back is we had Costanzo come up the middle and that pass is going to go incomplete so it's going to bring a, a fourth down now and, and more than likely a punting situation for Brockway. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It seems like nobody blocked him. He came right up the middle. Was that Costanzo? Is that what he yeah, Costanzo came yeah. right. He shot up the middle untouched. Um, Ford had no time to set his feet, let alone find a receiver. And he was fortunate just to get rid of the ball and not take the sack on that situation. Yeah, it's really unfortunate because Brockway was, seemed like they were getting got uh, good drive there and it, it's terrible that it ends like that so now with the the fourth and ten Brockway will punt Kane's got one man deep snap is good the punts away low line drive it's gonna take a hop and he's gonna pick it up and finally field it there oh he's got and running he's around, around the, the right outside. side he's to the 30 40 he cuts back at the 45 to the 46 of Kane so a real nice Real nice return by Jake Alcorn. Uh, as Alcorn kind of uh, almost a little bit of a rope-a-dope there as he looked like he was going to let the ball just come to a rest and let Brockway touch it, touch it down, and he grabbed it, picked it up on the right side. So nice return. Yeah, it was pretty smart on his end because uh, that was on the the far side of the field, and he waited, and all the rovers were going down, and then he picked it up and come to, came to our near side. Uh, Braden Smith did a good job of tackling him because if, if he didn't, that might that could have been a touchdown possibly. Yeah, he had a lot of room there, definitely. And uh, – so now we're going to get a we're going to get a first look here at Zook Smith, the six foot five uh, quarterback here, the junior quarterback here from Kane. So let's see what they can do. Again, they will go from the shotgun, and initially the handoff's going to be up the middle around the right side to the fifty. Cuts back into Brockway Rover territory, forty five to forty, and just down inside to the Brockway thirty nine. So it was probably about a good 15-yard game so for Kane. Teddy Race on the uh, on the run there. So, and they're uh, they're quickly Kane quickly getting back up here to the line. So, Zook Smith's already got the next play called. 
Uh, big number 82, Kevin Sharp is off to the right. Oh, there's a flag on the play. Looks like they have an encroachment on Brockway. I'm not, I didn't see it. Oh, that's a bad penalty for the defense right there. I didn't see anybody uh, off sides or anything. So No, I mean, they were almost lined up in front of us. It was easy to see, so that's going to cost them five. So now it's going to be first down and five now from the uh, Brockway 34. So Kane right off the bat moving the ball quickly. Uh, Zook Smith again, he will uh, he'll go from the shotgun, and he's got Teddy Race to his left. Looks Race. like audible in here maybe. Yeah, he's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of command of this offense right now. And Smith's going to go ahead and roll to his left, and it's a design run play off the bat as he's over to the 30, down to the 25, 20, 15, cuts back, it, nice oh. cut down, and there's also a flag on the play, and he is down inside the Brockway Rover 10. Ben Gloss did a good job saving a touchdown there again. Uh, Kane would smart play there. Uh, they ran to the far side of the field. There seemed like there was no Rover defender there for us. No, it was completely designed uh, as the back came with him as a blocker. There's a hold, though, that's going to erase that run. So uh, Brockway dodging a bullet right there because it, uh, it was taken inside, it just inside the Brockway 10. So Yeah, very fortunate penalty for the Rovers. Huh? I think that they just need to do a better job here is just trying to attack them because Kane, even on two plays, they've done a – Good job of just running to the outside. Uh, their speed's killing uh, the defense right now. So as this, uh, with high school football, this is going to be a spot foul. So it's actually going to be second and maybe three. We'll call it three. Oh, uh, correction, first down yeah. still. It will yeah. be first down still. So Sometimes I forget about that. Yeah, the <laughs> rules are different. I'm too, too much NFL football for this guy here so far. But... Uh, Smith drops back his first pass, just a little errant there, as he was he was looking for a hold on that one. Caleb Holt went down to get the ball. The throw was a little bit low, it's incomplete. So now it'll be a second down and three. Yeah, Caleb did a good job trying to reel in that catch. Unfortunate for him, that ball seemed a little bit too low for uh, his hands to grab onto. So second, make that a second and four from the Brockway 33. As this time, the running back's going to move over to the right hand side. So Zook Smith is going to, again, stay in the shotgun. He's going to roll out to the right. Looks like a design run all the way, and Brockway is all over that. Yeah, good job by John Wood bringing him down, got around the defender, but uh, he actually looks like he's injured right now. John Wood's rolling on the field. I don't know what happened to him there. Yeah, unless he twisted something up, but he's not holding anything. I think it's his arm is my best guess. I really don't know what happened. He did a good job getting around that defender and bringing uh, Zook Smith back in the back in the backfield. So it's a nice stop. They'll bring up a third and short. And while they uh, tend to the injured player there, we're going to go and have, we have a uh, we're going to have a Brockway timeout with Hugh Water Services and Holt drilling. So we'll uh, take a quick break here. You're listening to Brockway Rover Football on Sunny 106. Keep your truck fleet running sweet. B&T Fleet Supply. B&T is this area's premier truck parts supplier and a proud distributor of Lucas products, including Lucas oil stabilizer and fuel treatments and Kinodyne cargo control products, which keep your rig secure, as well as Kinodyne binders, binder chains, winch and ratchet straps, Lucas and Kinodyne. Just some of the many quality name brand parts and accessories for your trucks from B&T Fleet Supply. William Street behind Cooper Tire. Clyde Ferrero and Company certified public accountants are proud to sponsor Brockway Rovers football. High school sports teach young people how to work together, win or lose, and be committed to achieving a common goal. Clyde Ferrero and Company encourages you to support our team. Fill the stands and root them on to victory. Brockway has a lot of spirit, and they show it by supporting our young people. Good luck, Rovers, from the professionals at Clyde Ferrero and Company certified public accountants. The home of Brockway Rovers football is Sunny 106. His own two feet. Uh, I don't think it's a leg injury for him. I think it's a either a wrist or a shoulder injury. But uh, it's good to see that he's walking off the field with his own power. Well, hopefully, it's just a stinger, and he can get that worked out there in the sideline. He's not the type of kid that's going to want to come off the field and 
quite frankly, we can't afford to lose him. No, definitely not, because it seems like each week there's one thing that's happening to him. So now Kane sets up more in a power eye situation here as they've got two backs in the backfield. I can't see quite who the second back is, but they're going to go head out with a pitch, and that's going to be to Jake Alcorn. Alcorn's going to have the corner. He's going to cut into the 25 to the 20. He's still on his feet, 15, and he's going to be out of bounds towards the 10-yard line. So this first is Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> first down there for uh, for Kane. So I was going to talk about the uh, same thing that I talked about at the beginning of the game is arm tackling for the Rovers, and it seems like they're continuing that, and uh, anything they they face is just taking advantage of that, getting extra yards from it. So Kane comes back out yet again in the same the same set where they're going to go to the power eye and go under center, and the ball's going to go right up the middle. Now break it out to the right, and he's going to have the corner for a touchdown. Yeah, this, this, that speed off, the speed for Kane's offense is something that Brockway has to take an, uh, take away from them because they're getting to that corner fast, and they're heading right upfield from it. Teddy Ray's come up, uh, made a nice block, and Alcorn just kicked it and went to the right, and uh, there was just no chance to catch him going into the corner. So uh, Kane will take the early lead here as they come out, get set for the, uh, the extra point try. Yeah, I'm wondering if the kicker is going to be the same. Oh, I think actually I think it's uh, Jake Alcorn that's the kicker too. So I'm wondering if I got that wrong. Oh, no, it's number one still. That's my fault. Aaron Hodel. Well, they had the majority of the team was lined up to the to That the always confuses side. me when they do that stuff. But they never use it, so I don't <laughs> – maybe it is something in their bag. So the uh, see if they, the try is going to be good here. Snaps a little bit high, but it is down, and the kick is plenty strong enough. So That's a beautiful kick for him. Yeah, he's got plenty of leg right there, so that ball ended up on the track. So there we go. The first score of the game is going to belong to Kane. So as uh, the, we hit the 722 mark here in the first quarter, Kane 7, Brockway Rover 0. You're listening to Brockway Rover Football on Sunny 106. When it comes time to buy your next car, truck, or SUV, there's only one place to go. Johnson Motors. You're sure to find just what you want at a price that'll surprise you. Check out the new Buick and GMC models, rugged and tough new Silverado and Equinox, or the top safety pick, Subaru. Plus, Johnson Motors has an incredible pre-owned selection and the lower 40, a variety of bargain price vehicles. Stop today, drive today, celebrating 60 great years in Dubois. Johnson Motors, online at johnsonauto.com. John and Julie Coyle, owners of McDonald's of Brockway, are ready for another exciting season of Brockway Rover football. They know the importance of teamwork and dedication, and they proudly support the Brockway Rovers. So stop by before or after the game to fill up. They're ready to serve you. McDonald's Route 219 Brockway, working hard to bring you quick service and quality meals with a smile. Let's go Rovers! The home of Brockway Rovers football is... Hi, everybody, and welcome back here to Paul Miller Stadium at uh, Kane Area High School. Is, uh, the kickoff here is going to go through the end zone for a touchback, so Brockway will have the ball first down and 10 at their 20. Yeah, smart decision by Braden Smith. He looked like he was about to pick it up at the, the five-yard line, but smart decision just letting it roll to the back <laughs> of the end zone. Well, you get kids like that, and they, they always think they can make a play, which is great. But uh, that was a, that was a smart decision. That was yeah, a very smart decision. I think one of his things is he just gets excited to try to go out there and hit a kid. So, doesn't look like Wood is out here for this offensive series. Uh, nope, he isn't. He's coming in motion. Ford takes the ball and he's going to actually keep it and go up the middle. The slot brought him in motion, and then they faked the handoff to him as, as Kane is going to key. I'm sure somebody is got 31 at yeah. all times. I'm, I think that's promising to see. I think Brockway might try to do a couple more motions to keep the Kane defense honest so they can at least try to run the ball a little bit more because uh, they like doing that. I'm having a difficult time seeing who is lined up there to the left before it is the same that's play. That's Nick Porn. Nick Porn, but the, the play again is going to go up the middle as uh, same exact play, Connor Ford up the middle, and he is probably got a gain of four there. Yeah, just short, short of the first down. So that's going to be third and one here as they are in their 29, and this is a big first down early in the game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's going to be huge that they can get it here. Uh, as long as they're smart with the play call here, the line blocks for them because that's, that's going to be the big problem here is if Kane can get through the line like they were doing in the first series, that's going to hinder Brockway from getting that first down here. Well, with Kane already up 7 to nothing here with six minutes, just over six minutes to go in the first quarter, 
Uh, Brockway needs to keep their defense on the sideline. As, again, there now a flag comes in as it looks like uh, Ford kept the ball again. He has enough for the first down, but we're going to have to see what the penalty is. That was a quick firm flag. I didn't even see where it came from. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure where it came in. It's going to be a hold. That came. That flag came so fast. I didn't know that they had time to hold. Well, I thought it was, I thought it was a shoe at first. Something like, where did that come from? Because he threw it right past our, our runner. So Ford did have enough for the first down on that play. So that's a huge penalty on a third and one. So now it is going to put Brockway in a third and ten and put them back at their 20. Yeah, it looks like they're going to definitely have to pass here. So hopefully, see if we can get our passing game going, because that's been one of the hardest things for Brockway to do week each week. The, the only way to soften these guys up, again, it, uh, again, you've got, Kane's got all 11 guys up now, almost to the line of scrimmage. They are all within three yards of the line of scrimmage at this point. Ford's going to drop back a little bit better passing. He steps up. He's going to get the ball away. And oh, oh, man, just off the hands of Wood, and he had a lot of room. Yeah, if he would have caught that, he, that could have been a possibly a no-doubt or touchdown. Ford did a good job, though, because he looked like he was about to scramble, kept his eyes downfield just, just out of the reach of John Wood's hands. It's unfortunate. Well, Sherba was coming around the, on the right side. The, the DNs collapsed it, but he stepped up in the pocket, made a nice throw on the run. It really was a nice throw. Uh, but just just a little too long for for Wood. But uh, so now uh, that forces us to punt here from our from deep in our territory. Moves Painter back to punt for Brockway. Painter takes a look. He's going to kick it towards the right side, right hash. Ball takes a, a rover bounce, and they're going to go ahead and touch it down just inside Kane territory. So Kane's going to have the, the first and ten from their own 48. But uh, you know, there were some good things there in that series. Unfortunately, the penalty took it away. Yeah, very promising. So uh, hopefully with the next series, Brockway can take advantage of that, keep doing things like that to help them uh, drive the ball down the field a little bit more. Yeah, it's, you know, we're sitting here at the 547 mark here in the first quarter. Uh, Kane leading seven to nothing over our Rovers. Um, and Kane looking very solid, very uh, just matter of fact with their offense right now. And, and they've come out with a couple different looks. And uh, looks like Smith's going to go under center again as they're going to go ahead and stay with this power eye look. And they're going to go ahead with a pitch. Alcorn's got it, and he's going to break across the 50, still on his feet, and pushing into the Brockway 46. Uh, bar the, the defense there, some of the kids were just standing there as that kid was churning his feet a little bit more. He could have probably been down for a two-yard gain. Instead, he gets, I think, what, five or six. They got to do a lot better job of gang tackling. Yeah, I mean, and, and uh, you know, Alcorn very, very quick, but he's not a, he's not a big, big back. No. Um, so there's a guy that you know, no reason not to wrap up the legs on that one. So now second down and three on the Rover 46 is uh, Smith's going to go back under center, same formation. He's going to drop back, fakes the handoff. He's going to look deep. He's got a little bit of pressure there. Now he's going to roll out to the left. He's waving a receiver back towards him, and a nice throw and completion there. And I tell you what. Uh, Smith looks very comfortable. Yeah, that was that was beautiful, honestly. I liked how he motioned him back, and that was a dart, but absolute he, dart. He hit Bobby Rumsick, number 33, um, at the Rover 35 for a first down. But I tell you what, he uh, had a lot of poise there. When the pocket collapsed, Brockway did a nice job on the rush. He rolled out, waved the receiver towards him. Um, very poised. You know what's crazy about him? He's a junior. He's a junior. <laughs> so Smith's going to hand the ball off this time out, and – Looks like Alcorn still on his feet, and uh, he's going to kick it out to the left. One, with man, one to man to beat. He cuts it back inside the 10 to 5, and he is in the end zone for a Kane touchdown. So, uh, again, just missed tackles as uh, Alcorn keeps the feet chugging. And, uh, yeah, that, that quick, arm tackling is just killing Brockway right now. Yeah, definitely not finishing tackles right now. It might not even be arm tackling. To me, it looks like they're just trying to take their feet out, which – is sometimes you know a good thing to do, but not every single tackle should be going after their legs. And again, you get this with the with the younger team, and uh, as they're gonna what just happened? As they were, looks like they were gonna go ahead, and Alcorn was just gonna run the ball in because they are set up for the extra point. But there's gonna be a flag. It's gonna be a false start. As again, one Kane has the majority of their team about over to the left side of the field. Yeah, so I. I still don't understand why some teams do that. I think it's just trying to 
keep the defense out of the situation so they can't block a, a kick more. But I think this time they're just setting right up for the field goal to start off. Yeah, and uh, he's got plenty of leg. There's oh, that's for sure. Yeah, that's <laughs> I, I'm not very good at guessing things, but that probably could have made at least a 40-yard field goal yeah, with this that, kid's leg. That five yards isn't going to hurt anything. It's it, I think it's a wrinkle that they, they're going to try again, a high snap. And this time the holder is going to go ahead and take the ball, and he's looking to throw, and he will throw towards the back of the end zone, and it's going to be too long for Alcorn. So I don't know if that was a design or whether because the snap was so high. I would have to say because the snap was high because he caught it up by his helmet. And the kick was right there ready to kick, so I don't think there would have been any time. But, but that was Harley Morris with it, and he is he's a sophomore. He's a wide out. It looks like he does the holding, but uh, he he bailed on it and rolled out, and he actually he, he didn't make a bad throw. Mm -mm, <laughs> just a just little, a little bit deep. Too deep. Yeah. So we'll take a quick break with uh, 4.43 to go here. It's Kane 13, Brockway nothing. You listen to Brockway Rover Football on Sunny 106. <laughs> You know what that is? That's the sound of a happy client of Swift Kennedy Insurance because their business is covered. Swift Kennedy staff has over 100 years of experience in commercial property and casualty insurance, plus 15 carriers available so they can get you the best coverage. They take a risk management approach by evaluating exposures and designing a program just for you so you can rest easy. Swift Kennedy Insurance Company, Meadow Lane Dubois, Swift Kennedy, and CO.com. Relax. You're covered by Swift Kennedy. Why work in your yard when you can enjoy it? Thanks to YardWorks, here's James Burkholder. There are natural gas and liquid propane heaters, so that, that allows you to extend your usage of your patio and outdoor living space by another third. Way Rovers football is sunny 106. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Paul Miller Stadium. It's Kane uh, kicked the ball off. Braden Smith with a with a nice return, and uh, Brockway will take over first and 10 from their 29-yard line. Yeah, Brockways have about the same field position each each three of their drives, so hopefully uh, starting off what they did uh, last drive, uh, I think a smart thing here to do. I'm, I'm not a football guy, but I think a smart thing might, might be to just play action since they have so many guys in the box. There, there is an opportunity for for Brockway to hit something over the top of this defense, and they're going to have to to get back into this as the uh, handoff Wood back in there, and he's going to have a nice first down run of about six yards. So that time Ford going at under center, which is great. I don't know, maybe the coaches see that something that we didn't where they can keep running the ball. Cause we all know Brockway likes running that ball, so if they can keep doing it, they're going to do it. Well, it seems like right now the quick hitters up the middle are going, and, and they are the way Kane was coming after them, just pinning years back for the first couple of series, they got to take advantage of their aggressiveness. So this time Ford goes back to the – he's going to go back from the shotgun. Again, it's a handoff. Nice hop back there by Wood. If he still gets hit by a couple of uh, – Kane players are knocked out of bounds just around the 36. Yeah, I think he about got about a two-yard gain there, but uh, like like you said, he did a good job bouncing outside, uh, taking something that probably might have been zero yards and getting a couple yards out of it. So that's going to bring up a third and four from the Brockway 36, and again, we need a drive. We need to, the defense needs to take a rest. And we got to just get to keep that Kane offense yep. off the field right now. Yeah, this is definitely a crucial third down. They got to do whatever they can here to get a first down, even if it's just 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 over the first down first down marker. So the handoff again to Wood. Wood's going to go up the middle initially. He has oh, stopped and then he is, he is thrown down for a loss as uh, number 36, Addison Plants. It looks like to me it came in and uh, Wood's going to take a loss and it's. Fourth down now, and Brockway's going to be forced to punt again. Yeah, Kane read that play. It seemed like they read that play right from the beginning. Three or four defenders right there in the backfield. John wasn't going to go anywhere on that play. No, they're they're just, right now, they're they're willing to concede. It's play man to man. And uh, th th I think they're just daring us to throw the football right now. And Brockway is driving into the wind right now, which is pretty substantial as that punt is – very short. Yeah, and was a, right off the side of his foot. Yeah. Looks like he kicked it out on uh, our side of the 45. So Kane with 
good field position to start their drive, and that's something that Rocky really doesn't want to give them. No, it, with uh, Kane leading already 13 to nothing and just a little over three minutes remaining here in the first quarter, um, Brockway needs a stand. They need to they need to uh, force a three and out, at least get the ball back here without giving up seven. Yeah, um, I think it, maybe Brockway's key here is trying to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, definitely hit body-to-body -body tackles because those arm tackles are going to kill him, but maybe at least limit Acorn from going to the outside because his, his speed's really killing Brockway in this first quarter. Yeah, and, and again, that's came coming again, again with the eye formation is uh, Smith's going to go under center on the right hash. Alcorn gets the ball again, and they're going to go ahead and wrap him up this time. There we so, go. so very short game there. That's, that, that's almost feel like a win is uh, uh, Gavin Thompson yep. wrapped him up and wasn't going to let go. So good job there. Yeah, spun him around and then finally put him down on the ground. Yeah, so Thompson with a nice job on the defensive line getting a short gain. So they're going to bring up, like it looks to me, about a second down and nine. Back to that eye formation again. They're liking it right now. Well, I mean, if it's if it's not broke, don't fix yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Smith, he's going to drop back to pass. The left-hand oh, quarterback is looking down the field, and it's going to be tipped away. Oh. Good so play by Braden. Oh, that's 13. That's a uh, Austin Schmader. Yes. Good job there, because I, I really thought that was over him. He did a good job leaping up and hitting it away. Smith had him. He just left it a little bit short, and... Uh, a way to just stick with it. Schmader almost, the ball was almost in his hands. Yeah, And, and he really. tapped it right by him. So here it is. This is a big play. Third down and nine from the uh, Rockway 43. So here's the op opportunity to try to get Kane off the field. Although I don't know that they would not go for it fourth down. Oh, probably not. Not at least where they're at. Yeah, their offense is very strong. Because this time Smith's going to go from the shotgun. He'll drop back. He's going to roll a little bit out to his left. He keeps rolling out to the left, and he's going to throw the ball down deep downfield. He's got a man oh, wide oh open. Oh, man. That was a broken coverage there. That was a – once he threw that, I'm like, who is he throwing downfield? And I saw him. That He has a great arm for – right. oh, so that was very fortunate. Smith runs into his own man and trips himself up as he was trying to spin out of there as he, he ran into Addison Plants. Yeah, well, I think Isaac Painter did a good job there because uh, – Well, he I, was I think pushing. He, yeah, he, I think he pushed the blocker right into Smith. Well, I think just a little bit too much trickery there is, is Teddy Race looked like he was initially going to take the snap yeah. from a punting position. The snap went to Smith, and uh, so maybe just a, a little too cute. Yeah, a little too much for – for their liking, maybe. But that was a big loss on the play as it pushes the ball back into Kane's territory, about their 46. So Brockway with their best field position already in Kane territory and uh, need to do something. A big stop. Their defense needed it, came up with it. Defensive line did a good job in that series. Yeah, they got to take advantage of this right now. Get on the board. And Ford going from the shotgun. He's going to roll out to the right. He's looking to throw, and he's got his man. That's uh, I think that's Peyton Maurer, number 15. Mauer. Wide open, finally play action play, get some good yardage there. And Maurer takes it across the 40 down to the 39, so a nice first down play. I think sometimes uh, even like a little pass like that can build a quarterback's confidence, so maybe that can at least help Ford uh, go in the right direction. Well, and he, he had just missed a couple receivers earlier in the game, and they weren't easy throws um, on the run, but... Uh, yeah, well, his, his passes tonight seemed a lot better than the last couple weeks. You got to take advantage of, of Kane's aggressiveness up front. As uh, Ford's going to go ahead and give the ball off, Wood's going to be wrapped up. Nice leg tackle there. Yeah, nowhere to go for Wood. It tackled right at the line. As again, it, you have you know a two-way player there with uh, Teddy Race coming up. He's a fullback. He's a linebacker. He's doing everything tonight. Yeah, and, and that's not an easy man to tackle. So, and he he did that on his own. So that brings up a third down and three now from the Kane 39. So another crucial first down for Brockway. You get points out of this drive, and it changes the whole game. You're looking like it could be a blowout, to now you're back in this thing. Yep. That's something that Brockway needs. So Ford with the shotgun here. So here comes Wood in motion. A snap. He hands off. No, he's gonna, Ford's going to keep it. But here comes the oh. flag again as, once again, Ford pushed forward. And he got the first down, too. he had the first down, but it looks like we're going to get another holding call, and that's exactly what it is. Oh, again, yeah, that another holding call hurts uh, Brockway on third down. That's really unfortunate because uh, Ford, it seemed like he got stopped the line, then 
pushed really hard forward to get past the first down marker. That Dale. Using Wood in motion, lining up in the slot, bringing somebody, following him across the field has left a gap. And uh, Ford's taking advantage of it for some very positive yardage. And it was a, a great play call. He had it, but it's going to push Brockway the whole way back now inside there, just inside of the 49 of Brockway. So it's going to bring up a third down and almost forever, um, third down and 15. They got to do their best here to get any way to get a first down here, get this drive back going. Ford's going to drop straight back. Here comes the rush. He steps up. He gets the ball away oh. and incomplete. As uh, on that play, Ford was looking for Nick Porin. Yeah, Ford. It seemed like Ford didn't have much time. Those defensive ends were coming right down, right along, right on, right on the outside there, and uh, Ford had to come up. But even when he came up, there was a guy in the the interior that was right in his face. Uh, Jake Costanza. Costanzo has been uh, in the backfield most of the night. And, uh, he's definitely been getting a push coming up up the middle. Yeah, he's a pretty beefy guy, 5'10", 220. So here comes the punt from Painter. He's going to look for the for the right side as they don't want to have uh, Alcorn with the ball at all. And that's going to be inside the Kane 30. Looks around about the 27. So with uh, just half a minute to go here in the first quarter, Brockway trailing 13 to nothing to Kane. As we're at Paul Miller Stadium. So after a big defensive stand, I, again, two holding penalties here in the first quarter have been have been big. Yeah, something that me and Bill always talk about is just the young guys on our team. So that that could be part of it. But you know, sometimes penalties happen. So if maybe if they can try to limit that during the second quarter, keep those drive guns, that will really help them. So Kane comes back out in the eye again. Again, the ball's going to be to Alcorn. And a nice job by the Brockway defensive line. Yeah, good work. Uh, Schmader and Painter there on the tackle together bring Alcorn down uh, for a one-yard gain. Uh, that's that's very positive to see for the defense. Yeah, and Schmader coming up in, in, and jumping and sticking his nose in there at the line. So it looks like they're Brockway's making some defensive adjustments. Yeah, because I think that's probably one of the best aspects of our team sometimes is of that defense. So we are down to the end of the first quarter here. So at the end of the first quarter, uh, Kane leaves our Rovers 13 to nothing. Save up to 50% on food, fun, and more with Dubois Big Deals. Shop local, buy local, save big. Shop DuboisBigDeals.com and see what you can save today. Up next, the second quarter on your home for the Rovers. Today's Sunny 106. Who knows everything about water? From well drilling to water delivery to home or office, pool and spa chemicals and water pumps and water treatment, Hugh Water Service. That's us. With 30 years of water experience, Hugh Water Services provides Western Pennsylvania with one convenient source for clean and clear water. Superior installations at competitive prices, including sales, service, and rentals for pumps, tanks, and water supply systems and sprinklers. That's us. Well drilling, including water wells, geothermal wells, well cleaning, and if you need bottled water delivery gatorade and coffee to your office we do that too with free delivery ask for details we even offer excavating services huh, you water services even does that that's full service that's us if you think we're just another water company you're all wet family owned and operated since 1988 on route 219 just south of brockway or visit them on the web at youwaterservices.com that's us the home of Brockway Rovers football is Sunny 106. Kane 13, our Rovers nothing. And for the latest in Rovers coverage, follow us on Facebook by searching Sunny 106. So Kane gets set here, second down and nine from their 29. And a pass incomplete, but there is a flag on the play. As yeah. now Kane will have to move into the wind as it is gotten very breezy down on the field oh, I didn't even see that but you, you see the trees across on the far side of the field the winds just pushing them over this is a big Hepler's country store uh, <laughs> weather <laughs> live read right now because uh, we haven't had weather like that in the game yet yeah, it's been always nice and uh, no breeze usually it's blowing so it's it's blowing so hard out there right now that I, I would lose gas mileage trying to drive back <laughs> back, back home yeah so it picked up, so that's that will change the game as far as uh, as big uh, Zook Smith. He's got a strong arm, though. 
Yeah, he should be able to throw that ball right through the wind with his spot. He's got a tight spiral, it looks like, yeah, that, too. That ball he threw to Rumsick uh, on that last drive that he overthrew him, that was a bullet. Yeah, we have to say Brockway's very fortunate, too, because this game could easily be 20 to nothing there, but uh, Brockway got lucky because Smith threw it a little bit too much for, uh, I can't say his last name, Rumsick, sorry <laughs> about that. Um, or he stopped early, so Brockway's very fortunate this game's not a little bit more out of hand right now, and they have a chance to stop. Kane's deep Kane's offense and try to get the ball back and score. So after the false start penalty, it's second down and 14 now from the 23. As uh, Brockway with a little screen bit of a rush, play. and it was a screen set up beautifully, and the pass is just dropped as he's looking for his fullback on the play there, Teddy Race. And the Race had gotten a lot of the action early on, and then it turned all about Alcorn for the rest of the first half. So that brings up now Brockway's defense starting to get a little more comfortable with a third down and 14. This is very manageable. Keep it in front of you. Make the make a sure tackle. Yeah, exactly. Just bring them down no matter what you can do. Don't just go for those legs. Come up high and hit them hard. So it looks like, looks like they've made some adjustments defensively. Um, that screen was set up nicely. Um, so yeah, it's unfortunate for Kane. The pass wasn't a little bit more at uh, the fullback there. So Smith rolls out again to his left. He's going to stop, throw. The pass is complete to his big tight end. It's going to be short of the first down. But number 82, Kevin Sharba. Yeah, he did a, uh, Smith did a good job waiting and he's trying to find an opening. Gave it to him. I think they're going to be a couple yards short. I'm, I'm not sure what they're going to do here. I, I think their confidence might be to go for it. But he's out of bounds at their uh, 35. So it is. Uh, it looks like the offense will stay on the field. Um, so to be a huge stop here as it goes to fourth down and three now from the Kane 35, already leading 13 to nothing over our Rovers. So defense needs to step it up here and give the offense a short field to work on, especially with the win. Oh, they're doing that weird formation again too. Again, they're, they're looking like they, the snap does go back and they will punt the ball away this time. John Wood with a fair catch at our uh, their 34 yard line. So. The Rovers will take over. Again, we've had good field position all first half. So better than what we usually get in most games. I think mostly we started at the 15. Uh, starting at the 34 here, not as good as the last drive. But uh, their big thing here is when they get the third down, convert. But maybe hopefully they can try to stay away from third down and get well, away from those the penalties. The conversions have happened. It's just... We, we've shot ourselves in the foot yeah. with, with penalties, and, and they're, they're big ones, they're, they're holdings. So Ford, in again from the shotgun. So Ford drops back, straight back to pass. Got time, pass over the over the middle, and he did have a man there and just missed him. Just a little too over uh, Austin Schmader's head coming across the middle. Uh, Could have brought a little bit down, have been a good gain for the Rovers. But the offensive line did a very good job. That was the best protection that Ford's had all night. So um, good job by them. They gave them plenty of time. Yeah, keeping that will be very important for this drive, that's for sure. As it looks like, again, it, uh, they're going with four wides. We've got one in the back as we're going from the shotgun formation. I wouldn't be surprised to see Wood again coming across, but they're going to go ahead and hand the ball off, and that's going nowhere. That's going to be a loss. Yeah, stopped right in the backfield. It was Nick Porn that got the handoff. Didn't have anywhere to go, really, and two or three Kane defenders were right there to uh, swallow him up. So, Porn gets up just a little bit. Looked like he was gimpy there a little bit, but he's not. He's not going to go anywhere, but that brings up a long third and 11 from our own 33. So, here we are, third down and long again. So, I yep. would anticipate Kane's going to be coming. Yeah, Costanzo again was in the backfield with that, so I think that's the, the big guy that they should try to limit here on, on this play. 55 has been in, in the backfield all game yeah. long. So Ford again from the shotgun. He's going to drop back, straight back. He's got the blitz Whoa. coming if he gets hit hard. The pass is complete to that, Glassell. That was uh, 25 for Kane. Josh Bull with a huge hit on Connor Ford in the backfield. So hit. Brockway with a huge decision now, and that was a monster hit. And I, it, Ford stood in there, delivered a nice pass, and it was a sliding catch by Glassell up near the 44. It's at the 44. So that brings up a fourth down and one. So Brockway looking that they're keeping their offense on the field here. So this 
this play, as far as the first half is concerned, is the biggest play Brockway has. That's for sure. Uh, but I have to say that was just a good job with Ford right there. Oh. Just <laughs> he, he took. He it. got blasted. Yeah. Anybody at home? And he saw him coming. There, there was no blind side about it at all. Glassell in motion, and looks like Brockway's going to go ahead and uh, they're going to go ahead and up uh, use up a timeout. So it's going to be a Hugh Water timeout. think there's just another water company you're all wet <laughs> that's max's favorite part right don't there. know why max it, it, it just makes max giggle but we're sitting at the 10 minute mark here to, to go in the first half 13 to nothing kane at this point and uh this is the this this is just a big play that's for sure uh they, they've been fourth and fourth and probably inches probably lost than a yard uh, i don't know if they were just trying to see what kane would line up as try to maybe formulate another play or maybe try to see if they get offsides. But uh, I think uh, Brock will try to go for it here, try to convert on this drive. To this point, the bread and butter on this play has been bringing Wood in motion and faking a handoff and going up the middle. Now, Kane also has seen that numerous times, but to this point, they haven't been able to stop it. The crucial part has just been don't get that penalty on this play. Yep. So Ford is lined up in the shotgun. Wood is offset to his left. He is coming in motion. The snap, and they're going to give it to Wood this time. And Wood's got a little bit of room. There we and he's go. He's going to get the first down. And more importantly, there is no long. Eight licensed agents evaluate your needs and your risk while serving your commercial property and casualty insurance coverages. They shop over 15 carriers to make sure your coverage is right for you. Swift Kennedy's agents use a systematic approach to provide your business broad coverage and peace of mind. Call Swift Kennedy and Company and see what their 100 years of experience could do for your business. Then you can stop thinking about it and let them do the work. Swift Kennedy and Company, Du Bois, Swift Kennedy, and CO.com. Why work in your yard when you can enjoy it? Thanks to YardWorks, here's James Burkholder. So pondless water features and pondless waterfalls are something that, that is coming very, very popular for homeowners. Also dry riverbeds and also riverbeds and waterfalls that, that incorporate many things like outdoor lighting, your landscape lighting, and uh, kind of tie everything together. Weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly maintenance available. Call 594-6421 today and yardworksco.com. The home of Brockway Rovers football is Sunny 106. the offense established and 
con continue to convert on hindrance from that. Uh, but I mean, I guess the real thing that we need to improve on is just really getting into that end zone. Because um, if, if it has to be a big play, then we just need to get, somebody's got to make a big play here. So um, I think really in that, that second quarter, they did a good job of sending, you even said it a lot, putting wood in motion yep. and even Ford having that middle of the field. So if that's something that c they can use to help them drive it, that might be nice. But I still think part of it comes down to trying that passing game and getting over top because even it seems like in both quarters they've had at least 10 guys I wouldn't say in the box but at least three or five yards from the line of scrimmage and a team that's being that aggressive that you have to try to figure out something to take advantage of that yeah they just it, again just capitalize you know just cut the mistakes um, they they're in this game without mistakes and uh, you, you hate to put the pressure on the defense this much but they almost have to pitch a shutout in the second half um, to realistically come back and get get our first W of the season here for the Rovers. So um, not that I would want to preach that to those guys, but, um, you know, getting a turnover. There's one turnover in the first half. That was ours. The defense did a great job of main, making sure that that didn't, didn't lead to any points. But we just got to – can't have the mistakes. There weren't a lot of them, but they were key times. So just can't have them. Can't lose first downs. No, that's for sure. And I, I think the one thing that the coaches could preach to those kids is – that energy that our defense felt at the end of that quarter, that might be a good thing. It's just like keep that spirit going, keep going after Kane, because you know it might be hard for them to get a shutout, but the way they're playing, I, I could p potentially see something like that happening as long as they keep uh, big p the big plays from Kane uh, very limited. Yeah, they're just gonna have to hit. The, they're gonna have to hit that line quick, um, because their their ends are definitely they're coming fast. They're coming up. Kane Kane was uh, just it was a sack it was a sack fest there. Yeah, sack city. Half. Yeah, because that Costanza and the crazy thing is I just looked at it that Costanzo kid for Kane he's a sophomore. Wow. And that kid's a b I can't imagine what he's going to be like in the next two years. Uh, uh, Kane Kane looks like to be set to, to be a pretty good team not for just this year but the next two years as well. No, he's just putting his hand down the ground and he's going. just driving right through a line. So. Well, we're going to take one more break, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to get off to the second half here. So uh, you're listening to Brockway Rover Football on Sunny 106. Who knows everything about water? From well drilling to water delivery to home or office, pool and spa chemicals and water pumps and water treatment, Hugh Water Service. That's us. With 30 years of water experience, Hugh Water Services provides Western Pennsylvania with one convenient source for clean and clear water. Superior installations at competitive prices, including sales, service, and rentals for pumps, tanks, and water supply systems and sprinklers. That's us. Well drilling, including water wells, geothermal wells, well cleaning, and if you you need bottled water delivery, Gatorade and coffee to your office, we do that too. With free delivery, ask for details. We even offer excavating services. Huh, you water services even does that? That's full service. That's us. If you think we're just another water company, you're all wet. Family owned and operated since 1988. On Route 219 just south of Brockway or visit them on the web at youwaterservices.com. That's us. This is Joe Scarnati. Rover football is back. As your state senator, I am proud to be affiliated with such a great program. Consistently putting a team on the field that brings pride to our town, Rockway High School, and to the fans who continue to lend their support. To each participant, whether they be cheerleaders, players, statisticians, managers, or coaches, I wish you continued success and the best of luck at all your games. I will certainly follow every game with the anticipation of another Rover victory. So, where are we going? Brockway. Why are we driving all the way to Brockway? Because it's worth it. Worth it? We're going to Glastown Pizza. Their food is that good. Mamma mia, their Italian specialties are amazing. Plus, their flatbreads, hoagies, specialty burgers, and seafood are out of this world. You know I love mushrooms. Yup. Well, Glastown cuts them up fresh, not canned. Makes my sandwich so much better. Got their menu up on my phone? GlastownPizzaPA.com. It is worth a drive. Let's go. Glastown Pizzeria, 5th Avenue, downtown Brockway. Love at first bite. 
Community service and school involvement. Time given to make where we live and learn a better place. The attorneys at Ferrero, Crook, and Ferrero are longtime members of the Brockway community and sincerely appreciate the many people who give of themselves to make Brockway the community it is. They're also big supporters of Brockway football, recognizing the hours of dedication and hard work by the coaches, players, cheerleaders, and the band. People dedicated to community and school spirit bringing us all together. Thank you and good luck, Rovers, from Ferrero, Crook, and Ferrero. Attorneys at Law, Brockway, your hometown law firm. Creekside Auto and Tire Service earn trust servicing cars in the Brockway area. Now they ask you to turn to them when you're ready to buy your next used car. John and Chris service every used car on their lot so you know you're getting a great deal on a dependable car. Along with Lisa, they all treat you like family. As a family member, tell them what you're looking for in a used car and you'll get a family fair price on a great dependable used vehicle. Check their selection. If you don't see what you're looking for, they can try to find it for you. Buy your next used car from Creekside Auto and Tire in Brockway. The home of Brockway Rovers football is Sunny 106. Miller Stadium here, Kane Area High School. It's our Rovers trail, Kane 19 to nothing here as we are approaching the end of halftime. So uh, we got to get off. Uh, you know, Kane's going to have the ball to, they're going to receive here at the start the second half. So defense is going to have to come out, play the way they played in the second quarter, and uh, get us the ball back right away, Max. Yeah, just. Really, it just comes down to how they were playing at the end of the second quarter. If they they can keep that level of play up, uh, I think Brockway has a good chance to at least have a, an opportunity to get at least back into this game. But that, that offense really needs to start getting things going more consistently. Um, they, they were doing a better job at the end of the half doing that, but uh, still sometimes those penalties are hurting us. And definitely letting those uh, defenders for Kane getting through and getting those sacks on Ford. So... Big thing here, I think, is trying to limit it. Oh. Connor, Connor Ford getting hit in the second half. Yeah, he took them well, but it, I wouldn't want to see him getting hit like that the whole oh, game. Oh, that, that one was just, he just got lit. He was off his feet I was when he got hit. I was happy to see them get back, right, bounce right back up there. And I want to remind everybody, the Rogos Auto Sales and uh, Star Trailer Sales video stream. Watch the game live online at sunny106.fm with our new live video stream courtesy of Star Trailer Sales and Rogo Auto Sales. So yeah, we, we probably want to apologize that for a little bit because uh, the guys that's helping us here with the, the live stream, their laptop died for a little bit. So if you're watching online, uh, it's back up now. So you can watch your game here in the second half. Everything's good now. They got a charger. We love that technology until it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes you right on down. We don't know what to do anymore. But uh, here... As we're getting ready to start the third quarter, uh, still, again, 19 to nothing Kane right now. So don't miss a minute of the action. All season long, the Rovers are streamed live online at sunny106.fm. On your iPad, smartphone, or computer, catch the Rovers at sunny106.fm. Uh, the Rovers are coming back out onto the field now here. Kane's been out for a few minutes. Yeah, so I was really wondering where Brockway's team was because Kane, Kane's been out here for at least five minutes <laughs> or so. Officials even jumping up and down. It's getting a little chilly early season as they're in their short sleeves. They're thinking, you know, after some of the weather we've had this week. And, you <laughs> know, <laughs> they're probably regretting not wearing something <laughs> underneath. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're doing a lot of Hempler's Country Store weather weather updates right now because uh, in the biggest, again, usually with football, it's just, you know, the conditions are even for everybody. Whether it's raining, whether it's snowing, whether it's hot. And, but this wind has it's a factor it, it's definitely a play on what you're what the the coordinators are calling as you're driving into the wind and uh, it's for us we will have the wind at our back Connor is going to have the wind at his back for that fourth quarter so that could be a big factor yeah especially if, if they keep this game close and try to rely on the passing game that could help them out a little bit because uh, I mean I mean I know nothing about quarterbacks really but he uh and bill's the guy bill he's not here to talk about all about the quarter quarterback mechanics and everything but uh i from from what i've seen from the first two games and what i've seen from him tonight uh i think he's done a, a good job keeping his feet planted uh keeping all his mechanics because his passes have seemed to be tight um even on that one uh, pass where he was kind of uh, looked like he was going to scramble and throw it, it seemed like he still uh, kept his shoulders downfield and made a good pass. Uh, it just ended up being a little bit high, but uh, he he. It seems like even though this is only the fourth game, he's uh, been doing a good job of working on the things that he needs to do to be a more efficient quarterback for Brockway. Right, right. Now that's uh, 
in, in, in on the flip side of it, Kane, you know, Rumsick, you know, he he was 25 yards open on that one play, and uh, and that that ball just sailed over. And again, I think I think in that situation, that was that was a situation where the quarterback I think thought he was going to continue to run down the field, but he was so wide open and he just wanted to get the ball. Yeah, I think he was more hands. worried about that. Yeah, just like you know, it was om almost. He's was like, I'm right here, just lob it. Yeah. Yeah, like just whatever you got to do to get it to me, and uh, and that'll that'll take care of it. So. Yeah, yeah. That, that really talks measures about this game, too, because, uh, I mean, it is 19 nothing, but th th there were opportunities for Kane to make this game even more out of reach. So, yeah, Brock Ray really has got to take advantage of those type of things because they're only down 19, you know, one full half to play. They, The defense is playing well, so they, they can do that. I think they can do this, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can definitely do it. But. Man, this uh, this half hasn't started yet. I was just been waiting for them. It looks like they're well finally taking the field for well the that kickoff. That 15 minute clock went down quite a while ago. And we're you know we're trying and to get. They put like five more minutes up, I think, too. Yeah. So I mean, we were uh, definitely all over it, but they a little slow getting the second half started off here. But uh, Brockway will be kicking it off. Now it looks like they'll be kicking into the wind now too. So we'll be against the wind in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Yeah. I. Would have thought I flipped the, the other way, but yeah, because we received it from where they're receiving it now, haven't we? I'm not sure. I really don't know how these things kind of go sometimes. I'm not sure what. But so apparently, oh wow. apparently because Brockway was late coming out of the uh, locker room, and we do have a delay in the half, they were penalized for that. That's um, crazy. I've never so seen anything like that before. So that's a 15-yard delay a game, and that pushes. So Brockway's going to actually kick the ball off from the 25 now. So that all right off the bat changes the complexion of where they're going to. Kane's going to get the ball. Yeah, it looks like they're going to get good field position to start this half. That's not something that Brockway really want, could afford. Right. Lose Painter off for the kickoff. So the kick is off, and it's going to be a more of a squib kick, and it's going to be fielded cleanly in Rover territory right at the 49. I don't, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I, I can understand not trying to kick it off to their big playmakers back there, but the fact that they're in the win, I thought he would really try to boot the ball and try to get up in the air because that, that ball probably could have carried down to the 20-15 yard line. Yeah, definitely, but the, uh, Harley Morris fielded it cleanly and they're actually going to move it back just to the 50. So it's going to be Kane first and 10 at midfield to start off the uh, third quarter here. So the big opening drive, again, we're tr already trailing 19 to nothing. Brockway needs to needs to shut this down. Yeah, let's see what this defense can do to start the quarter. So again, Zook Smith drops back. He's got plenty of time. He looks around, initial receiver's not open. He's waving a receiver over close to the sideline, and it's run sick, and he misses him wide. So throwing on the run, he's not able to complete it. It looks like uh, Brady Barnett for Brockway. He, he's being the main aggressor for this defense. Uh, he was going right after Zook when he was uh, scrambling. So uh, maybe Bra Brady Barnett is the, the big key for our defense here is provide pressure for our defense. Yeah. Because uh, one thing that we see in the past game was Seth Stewart was the big kid doing that. So I think it's really good to see another kid doing it for our defense. So now again from the shotgun, Smith's gonna it's gonna design run is uh he's gonna get across midfield down to forty and he's actually down the sideline and they have him marked out of bounds. Okay, that he was racing towards the end zone. It looked like he was pretty tight there, but uh initially would come flying in and uh wasn't able to penetrate but blew one of the uh, cane cane blockers out of the way, but uh Smith was a design run play to the left the whole way, but that is going to give him a first down in Brockway territory. So first down and 10 at the Brockway 34. Yeah, that was a good call there by the refs. And he went out of bounds about the 34-yard line. But uh, Zook had a good stiff arm on that run too. So yeah, physicality all over for Kane. Again, he's got a good arm, but he's also very athletic, able to run. Big guy, six foot five. So he's going to take a snap. Hands off the race. Race a couple missed tackles there. He's got 10. Plus yards, he's taken down hard, but not until another Kane first down as he goes inside the Brockway 25. 
Yeah, that seems to be one of the hardest things for this Rockway defense to take a handle is uh, all the running backs I think they face have been pretty big guys. I mean, Race is 6'2", 200 pounds, so that's that's not really an easy guy to bring down, especially with his speed. Once you hit him, he just keeps yeah. churning. Yeah, Teddy Race has been great on both sides of the football, uh, on both sides of the line, uh, defensively and offensively. As now Alcorn comes in motion, they fake to him. They give it to Race. He's around the left side. 35 into the, or 25 into the 20 inside to about the 17. Now looks like uh, Seth Stewart was in there on the tackle for Brockway. Uh, nice to finally say his name tonight. His uh, last game was with Brookville. I said I was saying a lot, and I haven't been able to say it too much tonight. It was <laughs> good. I mean, it's always good to give freshmen credit. So Make, build their confidence. A second bit. down and three now from the Brockway 17 as Kane's opening drive here in the second half. Zook Smith in the shotgun has raced to his left. Seth's back, looks to throw, pulls the ball down, rolls out to his left, still looking to throw, tosses it downfield. Alcorn makes a nice catch. Oh, that was beautiful. Because the coverage was there. Who was that for Brockway trying? Was that Braden Smith? That was Braden Smith yeah. down there on the coverage, and he d he had the coverage. Yeah, but Alcorn just did a good job going over top. He went up. two hands on he it. He went up, high-pointed the ball, and, and came down with it. So now with a first and goal from the Brockway five, yeah, see, I, that, that penalty, uh, I think, is probably a big killer here for no, this drive. That initial penalty coming out of the locker room. You're not even on the field yet, and you're getting flagged. So Smith still working from the shotgun here on the first down call. Hands it off to Race. Race inside the five, and he'll score. That was a quick score. Only took a minute, 30, 39 off the clock. Yeah, that one's that one's a tough score as it sets, you know, now it's 25 to nothing with an extra point try yet to come. So at the 10-21 mark here in the third quarter, it's the last thing Brockway needed coming out of halftime was to uh, give up another score. Yeah, and I, I, we really got to give King credit there because that, that, that was a good balance to attack to start the half, a good mix between passing and running. The running, obviously, is their, their big power thing there because they were getting some good runs from, uh, not Al I almost said Alcorn, from a race there. So maybe I they keep doing that in the second half, try to run down the clock since they got a, a big lead here now too. So snaps down, kick is up way, and it is good. Man, that kid's got a good leg. He's got a great leg because he's kicking in. Well, it looks like the wind did slow down a little bit on that one. but So that's 26 to nothing now. Kane with the advantage. And uh, so Brockway, you got to come out of the gate with a drive here. Yeah, that's for sure, especially with the way Kane started off this half. Um, we just got to hope for any any type of positivity on this drive, uh, even even if it's not something that we get points off of, which, you know, we obviously want. Right. But if, if they can put some kind of combination of plays together to so get a couple first downs, I think that will at least give them some kind of momentum in mm -hmm. this half. And the wind's picking up again, back and forth. <laughs> yeah, it's, it just goes in big spurts. I mean, it's just. Yeah, because sometimes it looks calm, and then the next minute you just see the trees just bending. Yeah, it almost looked like it, somebody flipped the switch there for that uh, extra point try, and then boom, they clicked it back on here. But yeah. uh, I bet Shaquane has some ch just some kind of big fan that we don't know about. <laughs> That's they switched it off right before he kicked it. No, that would be. <laughs> they definitely want to switch it off now because <laughs> they're kicking dead into it here. This is the first time we get to see the well, this kid's leg really. So it's Brockway trailing here, 26 to nothing. 10:21 left to go in the third quarter. Big drive here for the Rovers. You just you got to be productive. Got to take time off the clock here as the kick is just going to be a short one, fielded by an up man, and he's down on one knee there. So. Yeah, Austin Schmader right there. Uh, so Schmader. Yeah, smart move just taking a kneel there because he, he didn't have many blockers in front of him. It seemed like the cane just came after him quickly. So No, and it, it sets them, a, again, with good field position at the 28. But uh, we definitely got to take take advantage on this drive. and uh, Just move the ball, really. Yeah, well, I mean, for the morale of it, you'd love to see the guys score just to keep their head in the game. This, mm -hmm. is, this is where it gets tough to – to stay fired up and stay in this football game is Ford's going to go from the shotgun 
and he's going to hand it off, and uh, Wood is oh, initially grabbed a hold of, and Wood stays on his feet, and he's going to get around, and he actually turned in what have been a four or five yard loss into a one yard gain. That was incredible. I really thought he was going to be pulled back. He, that, that kid for Kane was all over him, and he was just able to shrug him off. It shows you how strong the leg strength there is. Uh, he just kind of squatted into that tackle a little bit and then just popped right back out of it. But he's ended up getting getting a yard out of that. So second down and nine now. As Rockway at their own 30. Yeah, and that Kane defense, is th they're staying close to the line of scrimmage, kind of like they were doing in the first half. Smart on their end, that's for sure. So Glass will take the uh, handoff initially, and he's going to cut it back up in and little, if any, gain there. Yeah, Brock, like Brockwood keeps bringing the receivers in motion, doing a quick handoff. Kane just doing a good job getting right through that line of scrimmage, but uh, it looks like we got a rover down for rover down. I'm trying to see who that is. It looks like 75. Yeah, I think that Ethan, Ethan Ward. Ward. Yep. So Ethan Ward down right now. Looks like he might have got rolled up onto a little bit. Yeah, that's really not something that we want to see because uh, our offensive line's big and I think our backups are not as big as they are but I mean this still gives opportunities for kids that don't get to go into the game as much opportunity to at least do something for the team yeah. well we have an injury time out here we're going to take a quick break you're listening to Brockway Rover Football on Sunny 106 Superior Energy Resources in Brockway is a Verachetti family business that supports and services the shell and conventional oil and gas industries. Superior supplies rig mats, gas field services, hot shot services, tanks, fabrication hoses and fittings, as well as machinery and equipment for the construction, mining, and oil field industries. Call 814-265-1080 or email sales at serllc.co. Superior Energy Resources, solutions to help you move forward. For Propane in Falls Creek, your locally owned, family operated propane supplier is proud to sponsor this Brockway football game. More Propane knows how important teamwork is both on and off the field. The More Propane team works together every day to deliver propane to heat your home, power your business, or fuel your farm. Teamwork is involved to make this happen safely, reliably, and most importantly, affordable for you. When it comes to propane, think more, save more. More Propane, Falls Creek, 299-7073. The home of Brockway Rovers football is Sunny 106. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we're in Kane tonight. Here is uh, Brockway Trails. The Wolves 26 to nothing here at uh, 9.22 left in the third quarter. And uh, I think the kid filling in for Ethan Ward is uh, number 50, Jack Adair. I think he's in at center right now for the Rovers. So Ford takes the snap. Looks like they got a screen oh, set up and it's really set up. Wood takes the tip and he's going to break loose a little bit. He's across midfield, 45, going, 40, blocker. cuts back across the field to the 35, and we've got some trailing run. Oh, good. Oh, oh he lost he's, the ball. The ball is fumbled, a big hit from behind as Wood made a great catch, tipped the ball to himself, and brought it the whole way down in good pursuit by Kane, jarring the ball loose right at the tackle at the 30. That's really unfortunate for us because uh, that was a big gain. Just right at the end, Wood didn't see the defender coming from Kane. He came right from behind and just did one of those hammer throws right down in the football. And you know, I was watching it, and I'm like, please don't fumble it. Next thing I know, that K that Kane kid has the ball for him. No, they get a short return on it, so Kane will take over first and 10 from their 39. But uh, just great pursuit is... Uh, Wood did a fantastic job just just fighting for every yard. And the worst thing about that, that was that big play that we were looking for for the Rover offense. So. Yeah, they, they, they ran the screen there and uh, had the defensive line all sucked in. and, and uh, So now uh, Zook Smith back out on the field from the shotgun. He's going to run the ball up the middle, pops back out to the outside, made a nice cut. He's to the 40 to the 45 and now back up to the 48-yard line. So... Looks like he's got about eight yards on that first down carry. Yep, good tackle there by Brayden Smith. Uh, only needed him. He's a small guy, but usually it seems like he's the only kid that needs to be in there when he goes in to, for a tackle. Yeah, he definitely is a sure, sure-handed tackler. He must be a wrestler. <laughs> I can't remember. Well, I, I mean, I, I subbed in Brockway. Uh, 
people. Even that kid, he he's got a tough spirit, so he's a competitor. That's for sure. He'd I think he'd rather tackle a kid alone rather than have someone else help him out. I feel I he's that kind of kid. So it looks like we're gonna have a timeout right now here. So we're gonna have a Hugh Water timeout. This timeout brought to you by Hugh Water and Holt Drilling of Brockway. If you think they're just another water company, you're all wet. Way to finish it, Max. <laughs> you're all wet. But right now, uh, and it goes without saying, it's 26 to nothing is a huge hole here in the second half to overcome. You really don't want it to become just a, an ugly, ugly game for Brockway. So the defense needs to find a way to fire in here, get the ball back for the offense. Yeah, sure up the sure up the holes on that first drive because it, it seems like Payne was just doing whatever they wanted on that first drive. So hopefully the coaches can uh, put up some kind of game plan here to limit what Kane can do on this drive and hold them to no points because, you know, Brockway can't afford it to give up any more points, that's for sure. Right, right. I think there's a new player in for Brockway too. I think no, Tony Newcomb, I don't think I've seen him during the game. He's there on the defensive line for Brockway. Big kid Zook, for Brockway. Zook Smith takes the snap. He's going to step up. Initially looking to pass. He's going to pull the ball down and run. And he is finally taken down after the first down in Brockway territory. Yeah, Nick Porn did a good job uh, tripping up uh, Zook's legs there to limit, limit it giving up any more yards there. See, that's where a good time to use a leg tackle for him. No, oh, definitely. But that is a, that is going to be a first down for Kane now in Brockway's uh, territory. They're going to have a first and ten from the Brockway 45. As it looks like, it looks like uh, Braid's a little. He's grabbing. Looks like he's grabbing his hamstring. Well, on the sideline. Yeah, he's down here on the near side. Oh, oh there he is. As Smith drops back, he's going to pass to Alcorn. Oh, he's got Alcorn. Got him. Alcorn for the 45-yard touchdown pass as uh, Smith definitely – I s noticed him hobbling coming back, and he is he is limping. And uh, Alcorn just – he just screamed down the seam there, and it was a beautiful throw by Zook Smith. Yeah, everybody at home, you should realize how beautiful that pass was. He finally, he finally got one that was right on target, hit Alcorn right in stride. There's not much Brockway could have done right after that. No, and it, it was into that win. He, he, he just put a bullet down, right down the seam, and right where he guys can get it. Now it's 32 nothing as uh, as Kane lines up for the point after attempt. High snap again. Morris is going to try to throw for the two point conversion. Throws it up and oh, it is catch. Oh, Alcorn went up between two rovers and pulled it down. That is he's good at doing that. It's the second time he's done that already this half. Alcorn has been very impressive. So on the two-point two conversion now, uh, Kane takes a commanding 34 to nothing lead with 7.48 to go here in the third quarter. Just, it was just disheartening to have a huge play end up with a turnover. And, and then, then Kane gets just another huge play on offense. Well, they're, they're, very, they're very solid offensively and defensively. Um, they've got playmakers all over the field. Yeah, it seems like Kane with the what only not even not even five full five minutes into this this half Kane's already put two scores up and seems like the game's really in their favor here so a big thing here for Brockley is just try to salvage something uh, put some points up on the board for them get, build their confidence up a little bit because I mean we've been saying it all night too that I mean this is a young team uh, still a learning curve for most of them so getting any, any type of game experience is good for them really too right. Because one thing that you can show them here is just don't give up. Yeah. Don't make the score worse than what it can be. Back for the Rovers again is uh, number 23, Braden Smith. Number 31, Jonathan Wood. Back to receive the kick from uh, Aaron Hodel from Kane. And Smith just does not look 100% as the ball blows off the tee there, so they'll reset that back up. And said, looked like to me he was grabbing that left hamstring. Yeah, I think I finally noticed it down because uh, when he was backpedaling, he looked like he tried to keep some weight off that left leg. Yeah, it was, and I saw it prior to that that pass. I don't know if they saw it or not. I mean, they 
they're going to go to Alcorn one way or the other. They don't care who's on them. I guarantee if the coaches ask them if something wrong, yeah, for these games, is this kick is going to be more of a squib kick, and Brockway's just going to go ahead and uh, fall down on it. As that looks like that was uh, Mark Anderson that fell on the ball there. Nope. Jacob Baird. Jacob Baird fell on it. I think that's two central kids I've talked about tonight. <laughs> Feels good to say that. I think there's only uh, five kids from uh, Dubois Central Catholic that plays on the team. And uh, I think that might be a good thing for me to mention because, uh, I, I mean, I teach at Central now, but uh, I think this is the 20-year anniversary of the co-op between Brockway and Central. So it's, it's really nice for uh, Brockway to be able to associate with kids from another school and learn at least a little bit about their school as well. Right. As a uh, first down plays a handoff there, and Wood is taken down again. Yeah, number 12 at Teddy, Teddy Race. Race. He's everywhere, offense, defense. So Brockway, I guess initially there, that first down and 10 was from their 30. Just a little one yard gain there. Still better than losing yards. Are we talking about positive plays, and that's, you gotta try to stay it there as they come down. Second down and nine from their 31 in the, anything just put a drive together working on some plays uh, taking some time off the clock again Ford from this from the shotgun he'll fake the handoff he's gonna roll out to his left looking to pass oh, too high I, I'm not actually not sure who he's throwing it to because uh Nick Porn was just doing a look like a little drag and Austin Schmader was doing a little drag higher up yeah, and threw it in between so I don't know if he was trying to hit Porn or trying to hit Schmader there now puts another third down and long situation for Brockway. We've been in a lot of those tonight. Now, Brain Smith was off the field for that play. He's back. Uh, he's still hobbling. It's good to see the, some of the toughness from the kids, too. Brockway hustles up to the line here with the play clock rolling down. Third down and nine from their 31. The Kane sending a blitz. Uh, bad snap. Yeah, the, the snap just did not allow, the only thing Ford could do is fall down on the ball to 25, so it's gonna be a loss of six on the play. I don't even know if a good snap would have mattered anyway, because I, I think Kane brought six men there, and I think two of them got through without even getting touched. Yeah, they, their, their blitz has not been stopped tonight. No, and like, like I've said earlier, that, that young offensive line, I think it's smart with Kane, because they have at least eight guys, well, eight or seven guys right there, so sometimes they send them, sometimes they don't, so it's, Kind of hard to pick up every now and then. So with fourth down and 15, here comes the punt. The, punt, the sn snap is punt. It is actually bobbled. He got the kick away. Alcorn oh, he dropped it. Alcorn off his mask. Hey, Rovers, Rovers recover it. Brockway with gets their first turnover. Ben Glassell recovered that. That's that's really good. That's really something that they can build off right here. The kick came off. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit of end over end, and as Alcorn came up, it, uh, it caught him right off the face mask. Yeah, I was about to ask if it looked like his face mask or not. And, and it looked, I, initially, I thought uh, Kane was going to block that kick. 56 was in there. and uh, He slowed up. I yeah. don't know why he slowed up. He could have kept going. It and did look like he pulled back. At least tackle him Justin even, too. Justin Peterson was in on the play. I thought he was going to for sure block that kick. But uh, Brock with a little life here. First down and 10 from the 46. And uh, Ooh, Connor Ford, good job. Ford go, go, pulls go, go. it down, and he's got, a, he's got a first down and more as he's across midfield and out of bounds about the 35. So a big first down run of 20-plus yards as he's inside the Kane 35. And see, that's a, that was something I was talking about earlier in the game. Uh, another one of those read options in a, with John Wood in action. It, uh, I think there was three defenders coming in the back. John Wood pulled him off the side. Connor kept it and go, went right up the middle for a good gain. So first down and 10 from the uh, Kane 34 now for Brockway. 6.09 left here in the third quarter. Kane leading 34 to nothing. Ford in the shotgun. Glassell in motion. Bad Ford's going to hold on to the ball. Lucky to hold on to the football there in that situation and maybe just no gain on that play. Yeah, he did a good job there salvaging it. Yeah, we he, he, I think he even got touched in the backfield a little bit, so he did a good job getting back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, there was uh, the snaps. Snaps haven't been too consistent. 
So well, I, I think uh, well with Ethan Ethan Ward at the Jack Adair. I don't I don't know how much game action he gets. So, uh, new center in the game, so that could be part of the factor why that's happening. Hopefully, he can keep his nerve down, get more <laughs> more consistent snaps for Ford. So Glassell in motion again on the second down play. Again, another high snap. Glassell has it this time. He cuts up the ball. Oh, fumble. fumble. And it's still out on the field. Now it's picked up by Kane. Kane and he's Kane's got the running and he's room. running down the sideline. Oh, there's a block in the back. And he is going to be gone wow. unless they call the penalty, and they're not going to call it. Teddy Race. And that's a, another hard hit on Ford, too. He's the one that got hit in the back there, but referees might must not have saw that. Again, a high snap there. The handoff was able to be made, but you see on the far side, the ball popped out. It was eventually scooped up by who else? Teddy Race, both sides of the ball tonight. He is having a monster night. It's it, it's nice to see a kid that can contribute on both sides of the ball, especially like that. Now, very rare you get an offensive and defensive touchdown in the same game. So yeah. That's a big night for him. He has good vision too, especially in that run that he had earlier. He did a good job trying to cut back no, the other uses, side of the field. Uses his blockers smartly, but uh, there's a point after attempt coming up here. Snaps good. Up. Looks good. Plenty of, plenty of kick. Hoddle with another good field goal kick. So now with 5.08 left in the third, Kane leading 41 to nothing. And this is the score is now starting to get to that ugly stage. Yeah, because I think now is uh, the mercy rule, I think, starts taking effect. We'll the start running, running the clock. Running clock. But. Uh, the one thing I'm surprised about tonight is it seems like fumbles are the big turnover bug for Rovers. Not something that you usually see from this team. They usually have a good job of, even if they do have a fumble, is recovering it quickly for themselves. Brock was had a couple big plays offensively here in the in the second half, but it's just it's coupled with, you know, again the turnover, uh, the negative plays, and then, uh, you know, we weren't able to take advantage of our our own turnovers. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that Wood run and that Ford run there, too, that's where it happened. Or was it Ford that fumbled it? It was, oh, no, it was the handoff to Glass. It was that the handoff to Glass. Okay, yes. that's my bad. Everything's just happened together right now. So now uh, Kane again kicking off here, leading 41 to nothing here, 5.08, third quarter. You wouldn't have thought, you know, this game was so close, even uh, right at with, half with, time. with six, seven minutes to go in halftime. And, you know, and again, when race broke off the big run, I mean, it was a 13 nothing game at that point. And yeah, now it's 41 nothing. It just seems like a, a, a switch has just been flipped here for the Rovers. Again, a squib kick coming up to field it cleanly and immediately downs the football. And who do we got in there? Number 13 again. Austin Schmader. Schmader. So Schmader comes up, had no intention to run that football field. It went right down <laughs> to the knees. <laughs> He's just being very cautious at this point. <laughs> so Brockway will take over. First and 10 from their 30. Again, trying to just get something going here. I mean, they can keep doing what they, they're doing. They just got to protect that ball. They just got to do it the whole way down the field. And, and you know, again, you have. Kane's got a couple guys playing, you know, two-way football right now and doing a very good job of it. Yeah, and they have 11 guys right up there again. And everybody's but within five yards of that line of scrimmage right now. As Ford hands the ball off this time. That's Nick Porn, number 43 for the Rovers with a run. It looks like uh, he may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, but... The reps are spotting it, I think, a yard or two short of the yeah, line of scrimmage, so about a two-yard loss there. So second down 11 now is uh, Brockway trying to get, get try to get this thing going here. Yeah, the outside run game is not really their thing tonight, it seems like. It seems like they've had more success up the middle. No, I mean, Wood, Wood could probably get to the outside, but... Uh, they're definitely keyed on him since the start of the game, which is that's just good pre-game planning. As again, the snap a little bit oh, high. And where is the blocker at? They are just, not everybody was on the same page on that play. No, because once he had that snap, there was just two Kane defenders right there in his face. The right side of the Brockway line started to pull 
and the quarterback was going the opposite direction. So another negative play here is going to bring down a third down and 15 now from the Brockway 25. So I think uh, number 27, Seth Stewart, came in for, into the backfield now. He must be part of the running crew now. So Stewart set off to the right now as Ford's still in the shotgun. Good snap. Ford taking a look. Throws across the field. Oh, almost, almost intercepted. interception. So Yule was there and he uh, he was right he was right with Glassel on that. It was actually it was not a bad throw. No, no, he just made a good play getting in front of the ball. Yeah, that to undercut that throw, it was low and away, really in a tough place to make the, the interception, but uh, Rockway just not catching much of a break tonight. No, doesn't seem like it. Now with this running clock, that's even more of a damper on them because, you know, if you running clock, just running clock, but it's going to keep going down. Less time for them to try and score. So Brady Barnett checks back into the game on the line. Snap is good. The punt. It's good punt. A very good punt. It's going to sail back. Fielded here by uh, Harley. And he's knocked out of bounds. About the 45. So Harley Morris, he's uh, he's been involved in the offense and uh, now received that punt, which was a very good punt. Yeah, and he did a good job returning it for a decent gain for Kane. Put them close to midfield. Let's see what uh, Kane does if uh, they're going to start bringing in some of their backups or not. And I think that's what they're going to do. Because I don't think we see... Uh, Zook Smith on the field now. Now you can tell Zook Smith's out there, and he is definitely not on the field anymore. So it is uh, Kane. Kane has brought in the uh, the backup crew here. I think I heard the announcer for Kane said it was a uh, number 23. I'm trying to find the name here. Ricky Zambona. Oof. I'm glad you said that name and not me. And he hands off. He's handing off to 25. And Josh Buell, Josh Buell the, the, who just defended the pass. He got the handoff around the uh, left side there, so. Maybe he's looking to now to be a, that race kid doing some stuff on the offense and defense now. So three yard gain, second down seven from the Kane 48. Kane's still staying in that eye formation. So Sampona is under center. They go from the eye. Just gonna call him Ricky. Yeah, that's probably a lot easier for us to say. <laughs> Again, he stands up, hands off. There goes Buell this time. Oh, good turning legs. He He's he easily found some holes right through that that the, the defense and ran right through it. So Buell, so Buell with about 20 yards on the carry there. So first and 10 now from the Brockway 35 is um, even with the second team coming in here, they're, they're just moving the ball at will. Well, th there's one kid that's sticking out to me right now. Uh, I think it's 65 for Kane, James Porterfield. He's a big kid, 6'2", 313. Yep. Sampona again, Buell again, another three yards. Yeah, that running attack is right now just deadly for Kane, especially, I mean, even with the running clock though, but any getting any practice here for the backups for Kane is good for him. It looks like Brockway's starting to bring some of their backups in, yeah, in too Gavin, as well. Gavin Thompson just okay, checked back. into the game. Yeah. Yep, he's back in on the line. Zampona again under center. He's going to pitch it this time to Buell. Buell's going to go right side. He's around. He's got the first down and then some. As he gains in about another 10 yards and another first down for Kane. Yeah, he's really showing off his speed here. He Probably just as fast as Race. He looks like Race. Uh, he's got that length, that long stride, and uh, he might not be as big, but he's just as fast. Playing good defense, good offense. Brockway defense looking for a big stop here too, with uh, Kane inside the 25-yard line. Seven clock seconds left on the clock. Clock ticking down here. I think they're going to let it well, go yeah. ahead and end the third quarter, and that's exactly what they're going to do. So at the end of the third quarter, it's the Kane Wolves 41, our Rovers nothing. Priority Digital Service is a local online marketing team. Request a free digital marketing audit at PriorityDigitalServices.com. 
We'll be back for the fourth quarter right after this on your home for the Rovers. Today's Sunny 106. For our continued growth, DeLulo Transport has immediate openings for multiple positions, including non-CDL package delivery drivers, driver helpers, owner-operators, and diesel mechanics. DeLulo Transport is a local family-owned business dedicated to our area and to providing reliable, dedicated transportation services to our customers. We were named 2018 Small Business of the Year and voted Best Trucking and Hauling in the Tri-County Area. If you're interested in joining our team, give us a call at 814-503-4131, stop by the office at 349 Dubois Street, or find us at DeLuloTransport.com. Jill's Tuck Shop is well known for providing the hottest styles in formal wear and tuxedos. But sometimes a suit is all you need for a homecoming or a semi-formal dance. Joe's Tuck Shop in downtown Dubois has suit rentals with ties and vests to match any dress. So when you need to look your best, just go to Joe's. Joe's Tuck Shop, West Long Avenue, downtown Dubois. A proud supporter of Brockway Rover football. Making guys look great for 50 years. The home of Brockway Rovers football is Sunny 106. As they uh, first and 10 from the Brockway 22, pitch again out to, out to Buell. Buell cuts it back up inside, and he's pushing forward close to yet another Kane first down. Yeah, his legs are churning. He was pushing at least three or four Rovers with him before he went down to the ground. Kane's doing a good job running the ball here. The offensive line's doing an even better job giving those, those holes to his running backs. And for news delivered to your inbox, sign up today at bestoftricounty.com. So second down and two now from the Brockway 13. The Sampona under center, relieving Zook Smith. Pitches again, Buell again. And Brockway so stretches it out, but there's a flag on the play on this one as he took it. I think I saw that, yep, holding, holding on Kane. There's been very few penalties tonight, really. I mean, yeah. Yeah, uh, and I'm, I'm, I shouldn't say I'm surprised by that, but, you know, usually with some of the younger teams, you penalties are something that's more common. But, yeah, they've done a good job tonight limiting what's been happening. Even Brockway, I mean, our, our penalties aren't high. They were just a crucial time. Yeah, that was the unfortunate part yeah, about them. It wasn't a high number, just just at uh, inopportune times for uh, stalling some drives for us and making it some difficult to uh, get a first down. So so with 11-17 to go here in the ball game, 41 to nothing, uh, Kane with the lead. Brockway really he needs it. Oh, okay, I, was, I wasn't sure what they were doing because they didn't even start walking the <laughs> ball yet back yet. I thought they were about to go back up. Yeah, and with with that penalty, it's gonna it's gonna make it a uh, second down and long now situation. Looks to be about a second and eleven, and it is. So Sampona again under center. Buell, he's the eye man. Hand off to Buell again, right up the middle. Good gain, probably about five yards. He's really good at getting qu uh, to the hole quick. Yeah, he's been rolling up, and it uh, looks like we have an injured Kane player on the field right now. As he's uh, even popped his helmet off. So whatever. Number 60, that would be uh, Aaron Smith, uh, freshman for Kane on the field. Yeah, I hate to see a young guy out there getting some snaps and uh, get injured. Yeah, definitely don't want to see any of these guys getting hurt out there. But uh, he's popping up to his feet real fast here, though. Yeah, Ari walking off. That's... That's really good to see. And all, you know, the way he reacted was almost like it's something that's been bothering him and darn it again. You know, it happened again. Could be. I mean, if he's like me, for some reason, like uh, when I get hurt, I get mad right off the bat. So it could be one of those kind of reactionary things too. Mm -hmm. Looks like his left ankle, but he came off he came off the sideline in a hurry. So we pray it's nothing too serious, that's for sure. It didn't look like it, so that's that's a good thing. So now with a third down and eight from the Brockway 20. Clock running. Sampona under center. He's going to go ahead and pitch it to Buell again. Buell pops back up there. Oh, pushing hard. Still on his feet, and he's down to the Brockway 10. That's going to get Kane another first down here. So Kane on that third down play will... End up with a first down and should be goal to go. 
Yeah, Bull did a good job there, bouncing off a couple of defenders and moving up field and get a first down here for, for Kane. Big positive here for these young kids for Kane too. Get a touchdown, uh, get some of their confidence going for the next couple of years too. Zampona under center again. The handoff and this time Brockway on top of that. So that was Isaac Painter there in for the tackle. Once he got to him, wrapped him up, brought him down. He's a big kid. If he can just get on a guy, it's going to be hard for a running back or even a receiver to drag him. But they've done a nice job against Painter tonight as far as keeping him. You know, they've moved they've moved the pocket well. They've moved uh, hit the outside very yep. well. Stayed away from the inside of the line, that's for sure. Zampona, Buell again. Buell keeps the legs chugging, gets up close to the five. So this drive's been all Buell. Nope, they stuffed Stewart in there for the tackle for the Rovers. Looked like uh, Nick Porn was in there as well. But yeah, Buell's just Buell's just churning his feet. He's doing all the damage right now for this Kane offense. He's keeping it going. I formation again. The pitch out to Buell. Buell trying to get out to the edge. Brockway pursuing well, and he's going to be taken down. Good Does job there like by Wood. Yep, John Wood there. Wood's still playing hard. Very difficult to keep your, you know, composure your at this point. Your concentration yep. to that hustle level high. That's where, you know, you find out a lot about it. You find out more about kids in this situation yep. a lot of times than you do in the success part of things. So, um, but yeah, that's one, that's one thing you always try to teach kids because, like, things that you learn here, you can always just apply to your life. So, you know, you, you're down 41 points, but you still don't want to give up. So that's something that they can always just use, uh, even if they're not playing football. So Zampona on the keeper, and he is going to be stopped short. So they went for it on the fourth and goal, and Zampona kept the football. Good stop by the Rovers. There you go. Good job, defense. Not letting them get in. Now, I probably shouldn't say this, but because I'm probably going to jinx them, but <laughs> I ha I feel like I have to at least talk about it since the last game. When we were in Brookville, that was the worst place to be. Brookville had a safety there, and we had a missed touchdown in Brookville. So Yeah, it's a great defensively that they, they made the stop, but it does put you in a, in a tough situation. Yeah. But it looks like uh, even defensively, uh, Kane's also got uh, guys coming in, some of their starters not in the game, which there's no reason to get anybody hurt at this no. point. Um, Brockway just trying to get out from underneath their goal post right now. They'll take over first and 10 at their one. So four takes it, and he's going to just Direct go snap. ahead and run the ball, and he's up the middle. Oh, a good good run there, Ford. I think he actually got a first down there, too. Good push, 11 yards, and they go ahead and get away from that goal line. So that's uh, – like to see us put together a drive and get some points on the board. And I'm sure Kane, regardless of playing – uh, starters or second string players um, want to maintain that shutout. Yeah, every, that's every team always does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, referees actually marked him a yard short of that first down. They were sorry about that. <sighs> so it looked like he yeah. was well past the marker there, but second down and one, and that time it's going to be Wood around the right side. He definitely Good. has the first down. That time it was a gain of six, so he'll carry it up to the 15. So first down and good. I get to say it. That's another advanced disposal <laughs> first down. As, as Bill would always like to say, you got to pay our bills. That's right. <laughs> so Brockway's doing a good job. He's staying away from their goal line here, pushing the ball forward, getting the first down here. Keep that momentum going. It would be really good to get a touchdown on the board. Yes, it would. They snapped the ball quickly. There's another. There's 12 men on the field for Kane. And there goes the snap. Ford keeps the ball. And... He's got a positive yardage up the middle again. Looks like about two or three yards. Let's say about three. Clock winding down to about seven minutes left. Uh, Kane up 41, Brockway zero. Like to make it at least 41-7. Yes, definitely be nice to talk about a score on the board for us. A second down and eight from our 17 here. Ford in the shotgun, snap. He's going to hold on to the ball again, take it up the middle. Another two, three more yards on that carry. He seems to be uh, keeping the ball a little bit more than 
Uh, he has been earlier in the game, and I think that probably contributes to John Wood because the Canes defense still honing in on number 31 for us. Yeah, but it makes a big difference. Uh, when number 55 is not out there on that field right now for Kane. As he's been a beast and a bear to deal with all day long. Costanzo. That makes me think, uh, who's that guy from Seinfeld? <laughs> Costanzo. Yeah, that's okay. That, that's what I keep thinking of when Go. I go to say his name. Costanzo. Oh. So Ford takes the snap here on the third down and four. He oh, drops he's got back. Smith deep. Throws it back across the middle. Did he make the catch? No, they're going to say uh. bounced. He had Wood. He had Smith. And uh, Wood put the brakes on and it just skipped up into him. Uh, it's really, really hard to see because the uh, catch there would have gave Broccoli another first down. Going to be bringing out the punt team now. So with the continuous clock due to the score, uh, we're just now approaching five and a half minutes here left in the game. Painters counting out. Make sure they got enough guys, got the right guys on there. He'll be punting it into that win. Yeah, it'll be going to be tougher for him this time to get that ball deep. Painter feels it cleanly. It's a kick towards the sideline. And oh, good roll. Brockway roll, and it will, but it's still going to remain in Brockway territory, so it's uh, downed at the 42-yard line of Brockway. So Kane comes back out onto the field now. Looking to take as much clock as possible. Well, they, there was uh, nothing fancy about their last drive. They just, um, even like I said, just guys in there blocking and uh, run after run. And I'm sure, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of the same stuff right here. There's no reason to throw the football at this point. I'm pretty sure Buell got the ball almost every snap yeah, last think, drive. So think I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to be seeing the same. Th it seemed like a lot of sweeps too. So yeah, he, they ran inside the tackles. They ran outside the tackles. Zamponic hands it off, and there's Buell, and Buell's going to get real good yardage there. He's going to get close to six or seven yards there on a first down carry. Exactly what we said. He's just he's he's really he's really strong with his leg. That's for sure. Because a couple Brockway kids were trying to take him down from his leg, but he just kept churning them and get past them. Like I said earlier in the game, they they got to try to get a body on him and not try to take his legs out. Yeah. So Zambona under center again, again in the I formation on the second down and four. Brockway 36. you again the pitch, the sweep. He's out across. He's got enough for a first down as he's inside the uh, Brockway 30-yard line now. So you know what's you know what's coming. You know what? They're just going to keep giving them the ball. Is my best guess. Yeah, Brockway keeps sending guys in and out. Yeah, trying to see some of the names of those kids that's coming in, so we can let you parents that know who's out there for you. Definitely like to get all the guys their acknowledgement and their time. And Sampona under center again, again in the eye formation, and there's just one player that's going. It looked like they false start there, but uh, gave it the fullback this time. The up man got the ball. Who's that? Let's see who. 30, 36, I think. That's Addison so Plants. Addison Plants with the carry there. Little trickery. That was the first. Non Buell run of the. It actually of this looks quarter. like Buell checks out as we got. Oh no! I think they put him to the fullback now. So yeah, they must they be they must be letting Plants get a couple runs they here switched too. Switched it up, so it's going to be Plants' turn to run the football. And they're going to sweep it out to the left side with Plants. Plants cuts it back up inside. Inside the 25 of Brockway, bring up a third down. Clock running now, approaching three minutes left in the ball game. Again, Kane leading 41 to nothing here. Yeah, Brockway's running out of time to put a point up on the board. Hopefully the defense can get something big here to give the offense one last chance to do something. I formation again. Sampona gets the snap, hands it off. He breaks a tackle. Oh, he's still going. Inside to 10 and down about the seven yard line. So Addison plans now, every back's taking off chunks of yards. Yeah, and uh, he's not a, one of the bigger uh, running backs tonight. He's only 5'6", 150, but uh, he was carrying one of our defenders on his back there to keep going for another five yards. Yes, he's a very strong young man, and you can tell that just 
built low to the ground, hard to get the pads underneath them. And all these uh, Kane running backs just keep churning the legs, churning the legs. And Sampona, again, oh, it was good. a nice play. Who was that? 77, that was Owen Johnson. Owen Johnson shot right through once that ball snapped and brought uh, that was plants a, right in the backfield. That was a real nice play coming off the snap there. It's good to see something like that towards the end of the game. Again, you just want to see the guys still out there trying to compete, even though the game, you know, got out of out of hand. Yeah, big thing here is just keeping them out of the end zone like they did the last drive. So we're approaching the two-minute mark now. Second down and ten, just outside the ten, on the Brockway ten. Ooh, and there's a start. false start there as they got the big number 65 jumped. And the ref threw another flag. I wonder why. So we got a false start. Okay. He maybe he was just late getting his. Yeah. <laughs> Did it, it was late, so that's why I said that. I'm like, what? What all? What else happened too? Because you never know. Some of those young guys might run their mouth a little bit, and the ref doesn't like. So that pushes them back now to the 15. The pitch, out to Buell again. Oh, good hit. Very nice as Wood rides him out of bounds. Yep, getting him a third down here. Only two more downs for Brockway to keep him out of the end zone here. Yep, third and goal at what, the 12-yard line? It's looking right. There it is, third and goal from the 12. Now I don't think Kane's worried too much about snapping the ball. There's only about minute 15 left. Just run down the play clock as much as they can. Sampona again, the pitch, Buell. Hit in the backfield immediately by Nick Porin. So it's gonna bring down a fourth down here for Kane. Uh, I think they're just gonna run again, try to take some more time off the clock. Yeah, with the clock rolling down now. And uh, there'd only be, what, 20 seconds left if they take it down all the way. Pretty much, they're just looking to run it down. Snap and I see one more run play coming here as it's a fourth and goal from the 12. Sampona keeping an eye on that play clock. Go ahead, gets under center. He'll snap it with under 10 seconds to go. Again, Buell right up the middle. And a host of host of rovers there for that one. So it'll be a turnover on down. So the defense again comes up, keeps them out of there. Yep. They, they definitely bent, but they didn't break on yep, that Yeah, that's one. good. Yeah, good job. The two plays before, they did a good job giving Kane some negative yardage there. Uh, so it's good to see them keeping that out of the end zone, keep, still keeping it 41-0, not, not giving up on this game. It might get even more out of hand. Yep. So let's just see what this offense is going to do to end the game left here with 23 seconds. I'm wondering if we're going to see any, any more new faces there for the offense. I think it still looks like to be the same same amount of guys for the most part. So Brockway takes over here, first and 10, ball on their 10 yard line. 17 seconds, 16 left to go. Oh, bad snap. Snap is bobbled. But he has but running room. He's got some room outside. He's the 15 to the 20, takes another in <laughs> little spin. And Connor Ford out of bounds. And that will be the end of the game. So your final here will be Kane 41 and our Rovers nothing. So a uh, little rough one there to, to say, but uh, and it, uh, it's going to be a tough one, but uh, Brock is going to have to bounce back next week as they take on that the Ridge, Ridgeway Johnsonburg team. Yep. So no, no, no easy road ahead there. But uh, coming up next, our Rovers postgame report, including our JohnsonAuto.com player of the game. We'll be right back after this on today's Sunny 106.